huge announcement. The next Haunted Homies Tour is officially here. Tickets go on sale April 5th, but as of right now, you can look at all the dates and information on hauntedhomies.com. This time around, Matt Wright is joining us every single day on tour in comedy clubs all across America, because why? Well, this time it's a little different. You know, the last tour was purely about haunted paranormal stories, but now we want to hear about anything that haunts you. It could be a breakup, it could be getting fired, you could have pooped in a Walmart when you were younger and it stuck with you forever and you're really embarrassed and we want to hear about it. Yeah, so any come pranks, tell us. deepest, darkest secrets, whatever it is, this is meant to be an incredibly comedic, fun night. Yep. And genuinely, I think tickets are going to sell out within 48 hours. So yeah. make sure to grab yours as soon as they are available. As you guys are watching Haunted Homies right now, we're giving you kind of the heads up notice on it. Yep. This is our last episode from the USA Tour. We have a few more from the UK. And after that, everything that we're filming is back. Bring your sugar, because there's tea, baby. Honorhoeys.com, see you guys. I just want to point out that there is a 50 foot drop right behind us. <laughs> and I'm like, Corey, spin me, spin me. Oh my God. And I'm like, oh yeah, that would hurt a lot. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> this is our, our final night of tour. Uh, we started 32 and a half, 33 days ago. This is show number 25. Wow. And what's really cool is if you look carefully, you can see Alcatraz right behind us, which was like the place that kind of motivated the entire start to everything we did paranormal. Yeah, yeah. One of the key items on the actual f it list, TFIL, was to stay overnight at Alcatraz. And like that motivation to stay on that little rock right there kind of created everything that we've done since then. It's a big, big influence. Seriously. But no, it's like, you know, like you said, like it's the final night of the tour. Like that's, yeah. it's emotional. And like, I'm glad y'all are here with us, seriously. Yeah, thank you guys, sincerely. Thanks for being here. And, and also, like, thank you to everyone that's going to watch and listen to this. It's, it's been really, really cool. We've done, yeah, I think we've had uh, three to 4,000 people come out to this tour. We've done ghost hunts with around 500 people yeah. after tonight. And it's, it's been a really, really cool journey. Yeah. But at the same time, it's been really weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, your side's been, no, okay, I've had some weird stuff, too. You've had some weird stuff. Yeah, but you've been having some, like, freaky stuff, dog. So, okay, let's start off this way. We've had a lot of wonderful experiences, but today I got my first death threat from someone who went on a ghost hunt with us. I literally got an email uh, that was like a straight up death threat, but, the, but, but in true paranormal fashion, the death threat was once he dies, he's going to haunt me. <laughs> That's literally what he said. He, yeah. like, he apparently got something during the S's method. I, I don't think I was with him that said, like, I'm going to die was like what he heard during the S's method. And then he sent an email to be like, yeah, so when I die, I'm coming for you. <laughs> and I'm like, if you think you're going to haunt me, I will. I will. <laughs> Look, we already talked about this, the Queen Mary thing. Yeah. You want to tell them what your theory is okay. on my possession? Okay. So we all know that Elton, you know, got possessed on the Queen Mary, right? Allegedly. Yes. Okay. So this is my theory because we all saw it. We all could tell that Elton looked a little different after that. You know, a lot of people were saying like 
Elton looks so weird, like his eyes don't look the same, blah, blah, blah. But my theory is that a demon or whatever, you did get possessed, it went inside you, but Elton possessed the demon. <laughs> like the demon for months was just stuck inside you, like, get me the f out of here. <laughs> like he got in you and he was like, thinking he was gonna take over. And then was like, f dude, I can't do nothing with this yeah, guy. Yeah, no. <laughs> So if anyone thinks they're going to haunt me, they are sadly mistaken. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah, exactly. I'll just set up Tesla coils everywhere and just zap them every time they try and enter my house. <laughs> Dude, well, wait, think about it. What would a demon do to you if you did get possessed? Like, literally, what could it do? It's like, oh, I'm going to make them buy Dybbuk boxes and release more demons. You're like, too late, dog. I, I did that years ago. I'd be like the first person for a demon to possess and the demon to be like, you know what? After all, I, I don't think I'm that bad of a guy. You know, <laughs> I, I met this guy named Elton and you know, I, I seem okay. Like I seem like, you the know, demon starts doing good things. Yeah. Oh. He's like, I don't want to end up like that dude. You know what I mean? He starts doing charity work and <laughs> he possesses you to be a good dude. He starts using all his powers. He finds like a homeless shelter in the middle of winter that has no heater. And he's like, I'll, I'll keep you guys warm. Aww. He just, he sets their house to like a 72 degrees, you know? <laughs> that would be sweet. That's a very sweet demon. Should we talk about the weirdest thing we've ever had happen on a ghost hunt? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you might want to cover ears at some point. Watch your show. <laughs> yeah, but look, I'm telling you this. In, in the five, six years we've been ghost hunting, we've never had anything happen like what happened two nights ago. And, and, we, and we, have to, we have to talk about it. Yeah, it's, we have to. Yeah, I like it, you guys aren't going to believe this. Okay, should we, can you summarize the SLS story really quickly with Shanley? Oh, I know we've talked God. about it before, but okay. can you briefly summarize that story? Because as of that point, that was the weirdest thing we've ever had happen yeah. until two nights ago. Okay, so this was about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago on tour. So get ready to cover the ears. Um, <laughs> if you want, I we don't know. Were at the, uh, if you don't cover them, we'll assume what kind of a parent you are. So, <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's okay. <laughs> so we're at the Shanley and we were upstairs and we were in like a brothel area and there was a guy there and he's married or he has a fiance, but he's been to the Shanley like eight times. Times. Like he keeps coming back because he's saying like he feels like he has relationships with the spirits in there. And there's one spirit named Anna, right? Yes, it was Anna. Anna. And she worked in the brothel. And uh, how do I make this a long story short? So pretty much we had him go lay in Anna's bed, who he's friends with. He's already friends with this spirit named Anna. And he's laying in the bed and we have the SLS out. And in the SLS, it's like the Xbox Connect. So like it picks up, like if a person's there, it's like a stick figure. So while he's laying in the bed, we see a stick figure like standing on top of him, okay? And then the stick figure crouches down on him. And we're like, okay. <laughs> then the stick figure moves up to his face and is sitting on his face, okay? Then our ovulus says magic pillow came. <laughs> then I go to a chair that's right next to a bed and there is another stick figure in there sitting in the chair <laughs> and I've never, I didn't even know the SLS can do this, but let's just say I saw a wrist move on the SLS in a way that I've never seen before. So there was someone, <laughs> there was someone watching, okay? They were watching the magic on the pillow, okay? <laughs> That's what it was doing. Literally, the wrist is going like this. I'm not even joking. But so that's not even the weird part. Do you want to tell them what happened two nights ago? I just love that you told that while the sun set. Behind you. <laughs> the sun's just yeah, going look, down. Yeah, look Aww. Look, I've never ever once brought up one of my paranormal devices on stage during one of the live shows, but I intentionally did it tonight because you're not going to believe me you're not. Uh, if I didn't bring this on stage. And this... It's a Panasonic DR60. It's literally like $4,000. It's considered like the holy grail of, of EVP recorders, right? We'll leave it at that. It only records when it hears something. This is the one piece of equipment we have that I 100% do not believe can ever malfunction in a way, right? Like electronics can malfunction. But for this thing to malfunction in complete sentences or speak things, or for example, what I'm going to play for you shortly is improbable. So... <laughs> Two nights ago, again, if you thought that story was weird, it's going to get weirder. Um, <laughs> How do you get this evidence? Dude, oh, okay. I don't know. I'm I'll, just good, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> we're at Mackie Mansion, which is in Virginia City, and we're upstairs in Mr. Mackie's bedroom, and it's, it's a Friday night. 
you know, it's 1.30 to 4.30 in the morning. We're up there for three hours, and we're doing S's method. And during S's method, we're hearing like two girls arguing with a guy and we're like, okay, this is weird. We're not getting any answers to our questions, but we're hearing them like talk to each other. And then we're noticing that devices on the bed are going off. Like the, the cat ball on the bed's going off. The music box, if only pointed at the bed, goes off. REM pod only on the bed is going off. At this point, we're like, they're not answering us. Something's happening on the bed. Then the next person does to the <laughs> S's method and you hear him go, oh. <laughs> And then he goes, I think I just heard a moan. And we're like, okay. And then he goes, and literally he's listening again. He goes, ugh. And we're like, what? And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it starts going, yeah, like that. And this is someone with the headphones on. And literally for the next eight minutes wearing the headphones, he's like, yeah, turn around. He's like, I like it. He's like, harder. And I'm like, and I'm like there's, no, there's no way. This is a true story, I, guys. I'm literally like, there's no way you're hearing this. I, I've been doing this for years and years and years. I've never heard this. I have them. Oh, now you cover the ears. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, there's no way. It's got, he's got to be messing with me, right? There's no shot in hell. This dude's hearing this. I've been doing this for so long. I switch out the people. And not only when I switch out the people, I put the spirit box in reverse. And I'm like, there's no way. The next girl comes up, uh, comes up pun intended. And she literally does like two minutes in. She goes, she laughs and she goes, I just heard, uh. <laughs> And I'm like, this isn't possible. This can't be happening. And she goes on to be like, uh, lay down, get on your back. That's right. I like it. And, and then it's like, it literally just keeps going and keeps going. And it's like, I just finished. I, like we hear that. And literally as I just finished, cat ball, REM pod, music box, everything goes off on the bed all at once. It hadn't gone off for like 25 minutes. And I'm like, okay, this is improbable. Then we switch rooms to be like, the other room was also setting something off in the bed. We switched rooms, switched people on the sphere box. And then I changed the frequency from FM to AM. And the next person does the exact same thing. She just starts dying laughing. And she goes, I just heard me harder. <laughs> And I'm like, there's no way this is happening. And then she keeps going and she goes, uh, uh, and <laughs> I got, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a rat. I'm sorry for the, for the people that came and joined us. One dude, he's there with his wife and he goes, sounds like she's faking it. <laughs> And without even thinking, without even thinking, I go, why do you know what that sounds like? And he freezes up and his wife goes, don't get me in trouble, Elton. And I'm like, oh no. Oh my God. And now they're both staring at each other like. <laughs> and I honestly don't think they spoke for the rest of the night. Stop. Yeah, I really don't think they spoke for the rest of the night. And then I'm like, okay. We've done it in reverse. We've done it in FM. We've done it in AM. I switch it out to another person and I drop the speed down to half the speed. So it's, it's scanning through stations even slower. And literally, dude, I, I, like, I can't make it up. Like it was just, it, it kept going. And I think at this point it was a threesome because it, it was like, it was like bite me. It was like nibble. It was like slower. And then at this point, I'm like, all right. This is ghost hunting. This is ghost hunting, y'all. Okay. And at this point, I'm like, all right, there's no, I'm sorry. It's S's method. Like REM pods are going off. S's method, sure. And I have the recorder that only records when it hears something. Okay, get ready to cover the ears. So I set this recorder up on the bed in the other room next door. And it was up on the bed for around nine minutes. I'm going to play the clip. And you're going to hear me go, uh, Mackie Mansion, master bedroom, or Mackie uh, Mansion, I'm in the bedroom, something like that. You're going to hear, and this is literally my most trusted device, you're going to hear, I'm in me. This is, this is a real EVP, y'all. You guys hear that? Do you understand that this EVP of I'm in me might be one of the best paranormal pieces of evidence ever <laughs> caught? I'm talking about two and a half straight hours. What? That's a man. Yeah, it was the Wild West. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't get another dude pregnant. Like, I, honestly, he was being responsible. <laughs> they were in a mining town and they were drilling for something different. <laughs> 
But the fact is, it went on for literally two and a half hours, six different people, all doing the S's method in two different rooms, and it didn't matter what I did. I went up to the bed and I tried like waving my hand around to interrupt. I even got down on my knees at one point just to see like if it would change anything up. No matter what I do, it's the weirdest residual haunting that exists on this planet. Did you feel left out? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but do you do you remember how we started that investigation? Remember, I asked for ghost bosom. Oh, you did. I did. did. I was like, I'm open for anything. It's the Wild West. I want to see some ghost bosom. Yeah, yeah. And and dude, it's like literally the weirdest thing after five years. Uh But can I say something real quick? Yeah. So while he's getting this evidence upstairs, I'm downstairs with a different group. And literally, my experience (laughs) was very sad and it was very dramatic. The entire night, literally, the voice of a little girl kept coming through and she just kept screaming, pray for me, pray for me. So me and the group, we probably did four prayers, like different prayers, like Archangel Michael, our father. We were going ham with the prayers for her. Y'all were going in? No. Just like upstairs? (laughs) No. (laughs) But now that I think about it, after praying for this girl for hours, I wonder what was making her hope that we pray for her. And you even said there was a demon in the attic, but the attic is the same floor I was on. Oh, God. You, Wait, didn't you say that yeah. at one point during the Estes that they heard, like, children laughing? Yes. And then No, it wasn't, was, it wasn't laughing. It was the opposite. What? It was when, it was, like, when they were, like, arguing or debating who was going to go first or whatever, yeah. that, like, during the Estes method, like, three kids came in, and, like, and the dude doing the Estes method was like, I hear kids like talking and then all of a sudden he was like get out get out now get out of here <laughs> like as if the kids came in and he was like leave 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 and then they and, came to me to pray for them and they ran to you <laughs> they were scarred they were scarred <laughs> yeah dude but it's so wild because it makes sense because you know anything about uh, Mackie mansion mr Mackie, he sent his wife and his kids to paris and he like never saw them they never came back to visit mm. he would only visit them in paris so it all makes sense that he would live in a wild west town wow. and hire ladies of the evening and he's literally just stuck in a, in a perpetual residual haunting of an orgy what a loop <laughs> wow. you know what would be the worst if he got stuck in that loop but he actually never finished <laughs> he just <laughs> just right before no back to just back Welcome to ghost hunting, guys. <laughs> no, this is serious. We're all mature. This is this is a mature conversation. This is good evidence. This is good evidence. Dude, I hate that that's what happened. I know. My night was completely different from yours, like I said. My night was so much fun, dude. <laughs> it sounds like it. Just a group of strangers just being like, harder, harder. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, good times. Yeah. Good well, times. Should we segue into the game? Yeah, you guys want to play a game? Wait, that sounds so weird after that story. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to play a game? <laughs> that sounds so weird after that story with no explanation of what the game is. Stop. We're mature. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play a game. If you ever heard of Red Flags, Red Flags is basically like a card game. You get like two amazing attributes of someone you would want to date, but then there's a red flag. Ours is like the demon ga- dating game. So it's like two amazing things, but then some really dark, weird thing. We'll bring you up on stage and then Corey and I will pitch to you who you should take on a date. You can only bring one person on a date. And then after that, because it's the end of tour, uh, we have a feeling that all the people on the team uh, have a lot of talking to do on us and we want to do it right here on stage (laughs) yeah (laughs) because we've all lived together for literally 30 days marty Mm -hmm. kyle jerry ginger jenny and riley we've all lived together and i'm very curious to know if i just want them to like air out everything because why are they all giggling some of them look (laughs) mad some of them are like yeah look we're all we're all driving home in the morning so like whatever a five hour awkward drive home is not that big of a deal (laughs) we didn't do no we were so nice this whole tour i think right we're gonna find out (laughs) okay I don't know. Is this about to be like the roast of Corey and Elton? (laughs) If they want that heat, bring it. (laughs) Why are they flicking us off? They're just standing. (laughs) All right, so let's let's do the game. And what's your name, bud? Uh, Onarmus. Onarmus. Mm -hmm. All right, Onarmus. Before we get started, what are you looking for in your perfect partner, your life partner, the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with? What attributes Mm. are you hoping to have? You know, fun, energetic. Okay. Maybe talks to the ghost. Who knows? Like confirmed or like us, just kind of going out looking for. I'm willing you know to, to test mean? it just out. To see what some happens. Ghost sex. You know what I mean? 
Well, in a test you, it out, you, see what happens. You realize in Mackie Mansion that night that I was the guy in the chair with the SLS wrist moving, right? Because I just stayed in the room all night listening. Just I never watching. I never left, dude. Imagine if the ghosts were holding an SLS and they're like, this guy is still in here. How would you describe your ex? I'm, you know uh, what I mean? I'm just looking at what I'm trying to beat. You know what I mean? I don't think it'll be that hard. Okay. You don't think it'll be that hard to beat your ex? That Whoa, that sounds... Hold on. What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'll go first. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, let me let me start it off like this. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag, but I own a zoo and I can talk to all the animals. Wow. <laughs> we can go to my zoo every day. You want to talk to a bird? We're going to go talk to a bird. Okay. But on top of that, I have a magic closet that gives you any brand of clothing that you want for free. You want a polo? Let's go get you a polo. Okay. You want some Balenci's? It's on me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, go oh, God. <laughs> um, my red flag is I have to turn every object that you own into a Ouija board, and then I always use them, and I always leave the portals open. So every every <laughs> everything that you own has turned into a including, portal. Including those Balenciagas. He just got you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Balenci's, you that know? Means, that means your socks are portals, your shoes are portals, your underwear is a portal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's your, not your hair bad. product's a portal. That sweatshirt is a portal but i own a zoo which, which is I also apparently a portal <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why you can talk to the animals they're all demons <laughs> they've all just had a demon just shut up <laughs> look i know i said i wanted someone who could talk to ghosts but that's a little much there what <laughs> you don't know <laughs> you never wanted to talk to a zebra mm, that's a little different let's give you your other option here okay <laughs> it's a weird thing i can do but I can. I can say the alphabet backwards without hesitation. Wow. You know handy, what I mean? handy. Yeah, and I literally just did it. Alphabet backwards. Perfect. See? Very nice. So, wow. no problem. And here's the best part. Look, mm -hmm. um, are you stressed? Somewhat. A little bit? Mm -hmm. How often would you say you're stressed? Every once in a while. Okay. What do you think is like a, a great stress reliever? <clears throat> Sex, you think? <laughs> sure. Sure? Sure. You know why that's amazing? Mm. We don't even need to have sex. Well, you don't need to get sweaty. <laughs> You don't even need to take your clothes off. Cover the ears. Cover I can the ears. instantly relieve all of your stress because I can give you an instant orgasm just by looking at you. <laughs> hey, ready? Check this out. You stressed right now? Oh, it worked. That's what I thought. Nice. How'd you do that? Very yeah, nice. Very nice. <laughs> wow. And who wrote that? And look. <laughs> here's the only downside, all right? Mm -hmm. It's not even a downside, to be honest. Uh, we drive a Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. I would say I drive, but... Of it's course, of now, course. Right? It's our, our Lamborghini. Course. We drive a Lamborghini, um, but its fuel is tears from your mother. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. You ever had happy tears? Yeah. Your mom's going to be so proud of all the orgasms I'm giving you. <laughs> She's going to be like, my baby boy. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> and then we'll just put that right in the gas tank, you know? And we don't have huh? to drive the Lamborghini. Weekend car. You know what I mean? Little weekend. We, we can take a Tesla out. You know what I mean? Tear free. Your mom's fine. And yeah, we just maybe send her a nude pic of yours and make her cry every once in a while. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think they're always going to be happy tears. Why? You know, it's, it's hard to get happy tears. That means you got to do something incredible like every day. Yeah. I think it's a lot easier to make your mom cry because she's disappointed in you, right? It, right? You're right. And it, and it would be easier. But the thing is, I don't do things the easy way. True. You know what I mean? I want the challenge. And, it, and it's the only way we can go drive down PCH with the top down in our Lamborghini is to, you know, do something beautiful for your mother. I'll make that happen. Okay. But have you seen the hoodies at Walmart? <laughs> Free. Just come over to my crib. And they're all portals. <laughs> <laughs> no. What, okay. what, do, yeah. do you own a dog? Do you have any cats? No animals? None of the sort, what's, what's the favorite thing that you own? Hmm. Honestly, at this point, my PC. Your PC? Yeah. Well, now it's a f***ing portal. You got a point there. You it's no point longer there. a personal computer. It's a portal computer, <laughs> and it's just sucking in demons through your windows. That's not a big deal. Is it? Yeah, think about it. You're, who cares that your PC is a portal? You can talk to whales. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your zoo has a whale? You ever been to SeaWorld? Oh, you hear that? He owns f***ing SeaWorld. Oh, mm. God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huh. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. You know what? I'll let you two take it from here. Go ahead. Mm. Mm. Oh, go ahead. Mm. Go ahead. 
God, Corey. <laughs> Dude, okay, listen. I grew up like going to SeaWorld oh, every week. So not only I does forgot he own the one, he used bad. to financially support them as well. <laughs> wow. I had an annual SeaWorld pass. <laughs> so every year, SeaWorld knew they had money coming to their bank account so they can take advantage of these poor animals. Is that someone you want to date? All we got to do is make your mom cry. You know how easy it is to make your mom cry? We'll just tell her that he f- owns SeaWorld. <laughs> I should have kept SeaWorld out of this. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you thinking? How are you feeling right now? See, the content on that end, very enticing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, until it gets demonetized. I was about to say, <laughs> besides the SeaWorld part. <laughs> well, yeah, I own a zoo, not SeaWorld. But oh, that's, you already specified. Yes, yeah, so you're are you already lying? Specified? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's red flag number two. <laughs> 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 Look, I can say the alphabet backwards, you know what I mean? And, and I got a Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you just use a couple tears. And again, ready? Orgasm. Do it to me. Do it to me. Oh. <laughs> Wait, ready? Watch this. <laughs> Wait, there's kids. There's kids. No. dude. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so how you, uh, how you feeling? I mean, I know how you're feeling, relaxed, but, you know. Of course, of course. Who are you feeling? You know what I mean? Uh, gotta go with you. Yeah, you gotta, gotta go with go. right. it. <laughs> so thank Elton, Elton course, took it. Course. Yes, Elton I took, took it. it. Yeah, yeah. I took it, and then he's gonna take it later, but thank you so much. <laughs> you had a chance until SeaWorld came into the picture. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, that's yours then, unless you wanna switch. Do you wanna switch? No, that's cool. It's like deal or no deal. You wanna switch cases? No. You sure? No. Okay, remember that. Remember that. Why? Do you know what they say or something? No. Just remember that. Okay. You're scaring me. <laughs> Wait, do the look again. <gasps> <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Peyton. All right, Peyton. Nice to meet you. Nice um, obviously, you know, we have a romantic Ooh, sunset I here. I can't turn around. That's really scary. <laughs> oh, are you afraid of heights? Yeah. Just, just a 40-foot look, drop. <laughs> don't turn around. I'll just describe it to you in grave detail. It's about 180 feet. <laughs> oh, <Another. fun. laughs> All right, so what are you looking for in your dream partner? I know it's not someone adventurous who wants to go skydiving and bungee jumping. So what are you looking for? Dream person, rest of your life. Honestly, the bungee jumping and skydiving was kind of, sounded kind of fun. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Well, let's do a jump right now. Mm, maybe later in the future. <laughs> <laughs> maybe later in, in the, the future. future. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so what are you looking for? Um, you got to go home with your perfect partner right now. Disc- I agree with the demon thing. I'm okay with the demon thing. What do you mean? Like ghost hunting or the okay anything like that. Damn. <laughs> okay. It used to be like girls always went for the bad guy. Now they're going for the demonic guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, times have really changed. Bad guys aren't good enough anymore. I need you to be demonic. <laughs> what are you What are you looking for in a partner? Well, I like guys that demon. own dibic boxes. <laughs> I also like guys to talk to Satan. <laughs> so is there anything else though? Anything positive you're looking for? Are you just looking for someone just evil? Taller than me. <laughs> How tall are you? Five five. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we're safe, dude. Finally. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right, someone taller than you and uh, someone demonic. Mm-hmm. That's it? Yeah. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I throw these out? <laughs> hey, uh, you don't even my need name's to Elton. Read. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I hurt my neck. (laughs) Here's the thing. You can live anywhere. Where do you want to live? Australia. Australia. Any part in particular? Melbourne. Where specifically? You want like kangaroos all around you, (laughs) like koalas? Not sure. Well, whenever you think of whatever your dream home is, I can build you your dream home exactly where you want it. All right? Whatever that house is, wherever you want it to be, I can build it perfectly for you. Okay, and just an extra thing I just did for fun. Uh, I made every day into Taco Tuesday. So every day, tacos are discounted. Doesn't mean you only have to eat tacos, but every single day, tacos are like a dollar for two, all right? The only thing is, I can't stop talking about my ex who was burned at the stake during the 1692 Salem witch trial. Look, I... Look, here's the thing. We all deal with trauma in different ways, okay? (laughs) And have you ever lost a loved one? Yeah. Okay. Now imagine if that loved one was burned at the stake in front of you. <laughs> Don't you think that'd be a little traumatizing? Yeah, just you'd, a bit. You probably think about it pretty often, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a sensitive guy. You Dude, know? you have to be like 400 years old. <laughs> How are, are you? So wait, are you a demon? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm helping. Thank you. Wait, I'm helping Thank now. you so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Corey. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I got some news for you. You know, isn't it... Isn't it sketchy, you know, walking outside sometimes, you know, like if it's late at night, like you just want to go on a nice date, but it's just, you know, sketchy, you know? Well, I got some good news. I have a third eye on the back of my head, <laughs> so I can always be looking out. I can always make sure that no one's sneaking up behind us. No one's going to, you know, steal our phone or our wallet or anything. You know, we're safe. Okay, I also have a full-time staff of assistants to do every single thing for you, including wiping your butt <laughs> because they love you, okay? I don't know how this is possible, but I have to date you for no less than 1,200 years. No less? <laughs> no less. <laughs> we have to date for 1,200 years or else. Let me let me ask you this though. Does it say anything about you being a mortal? No. So that you're, you're just gonna date her dead body? <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I, even look, I'm a demon, and that's pretty f***ed up. Dude. <laughs> that's a little weird. I didn't f write this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I understand that this is weird, but uh, uh, take it over, Elton. <laughs> What was your What was your first thing, by the way? I have a third eye on the back of my head. No, you yes. literally have a third eye, or do you I have spiritually? A I have a third eyeball in the back of my head that's just always looking, always making sure that we're safe. Look, I'm not. I'm not trying to put you in the spot, <laughs> but you think that's a little weird? A bit. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> and and meanwhile, look, Melbourne, right? Dream home, forever. Whatever you want. Every day's Taco Tuesday. It doesn't even matter. And, and, and the only thing is, every once in a while, I have to let you know that I feel really terrible about, you know, Tabitha, who was burned at the stake. <laughs> I feel bad. You know, I miss her. I, I, still, uh. I still love you equally. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you're obsessed with your ex. Yeah. Right? Because I'm a demon, and I'm still seeking vengeance for this day, and a tribute that apparently you love. <laughs> and listen, you know, the third eye thing on the back of my head, yeah, you know, it's a little weird, but it, he's always, his eye's always closed, you know, unless I tell him to open his eye. <laughs> and we can get past that, because I have assistants that'll do anything for you. Anything. Tell me something that you want right now. I can't think like, of anything. Like, say, say, <laughs> say a snack that you want right now. I want a hot dog. Jerry, go get a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, please help me win this round. Go get a hot dog right now. <laughs> can, I, can I just say, though, the, the fact that, what did it say? You have a third eye to watch the back of you so it always keep you out of danger? Mm -hmm. where, where are you bringing her that she's always in danger, Corey? <laughs> Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So when, when, when we're all leaving this show later. <laughs> oh, we gotta beat that joke now. <laughs> God damn, dude. Yeah, that might that might have been the best joke so far. Oh, <laughs> oh god. So who who are you feeling right now? Well, you know, we can get another chance to kind of to kind of go back and forth, but twelve thousand years? What was it? No, twelve twelve hundred years. Twelve hundred years. Have to date you for twelve hundred years. Doesn't say anything about you becoming immortal. Just even when you die, still just gonna be holding your hand. <laughs> you know, taking you on long walks on the beach. <laughs> you ever heard of a taxidermy? <laughs> Again, I'm the right. demon. That's really <laughs> f up, dude. <laughs> that, way it's, that way in like 500 years and not just a skeleton. It's just like a person. Yo, like don't, don't f fall off, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Yo, it's straight up weekend at Bernie's. That's what you're talking about right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, any, any other questions? Not really. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got my answer. Oh, sh okay. What's your answer? Wait, before you answer. <laughs> No, that was only for the last one. <laughs> I'd probably go with number one. <laughs> Am I number yeah. one? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'll make sure we never go to Oakland ever again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we we're doing we're doing the third round. Yeah. Uh, let's hope that we don't finish it with a clean sweep. Yeah, I'd be pissed. All right, come on up, and you get you got to uh, make a promise that you're not just gonna give it to Corey. You know, you just feel to, bad. You feel bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What is your name? Katie. Katie. Yes. Same thing. Got a beautiful night out. Sun is gone. City lights are lit. What are you looking for? Someone who has a good sense of humor. Hmm. Someone who's patient. Patient, okay. Yes. Sure. And um, someone 
who is willing to go on a long road trip. Willing to go on a long road trip. At random. I mean, we just, look, we're both kind of funny and just did a 30 day road trip. So right now we're pretty good. What? I, oh my God, what is happening? Remember, you picked that one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. All right, willing, willing to go on spontaneous oh trips. Yes. Patience. Yes. And then what was the what was the first part? Oh, sense of humor. Sense of, sense humor. of humor. Wait, yeah. what does it say? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go first. Oh my god. Um. Yes. Please cover the ears. <laughs> just give me. Just give me like thirty seconds. Um. That's all you can last. Stop. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, give me 30 seconds, okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so one, uh, I actually respond to text messages, okay? So if you text oh. me, I'm not going to leave you on red. <laughs> I'm not going to wait hours to respond like a bad boyfriend. Boo. Four hours to respond. That's a bad boyfriend. Um, I also, cover the ears, um, I also have genitals that can adapt like a chameleon to the perfect size and shape for you instantly. <laughs> Who wrote this? Le raise your hand right now. Who wrote this? That is disgusting. <laughs> this is a paranormal po You? <laughs> this is a paranormal podcast. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? It seems like a green flag. Oh it's my god! Is that not amazing? Y yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then I'll 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 read the red flag now. <laughs> um, Look how you do. Uh, <laughs> I'm the number one chef in the world, but I secretly use blood as the sweetener. <laughs> but I'm a really that, good I cook. I don't know that that would make it sweet. It does. It does. It's just a, it's a it's a you know little secret formula that I use. You know, it's not that bad. Think about it. I'm the number one chef in the world. Wow. How does he do it? Blood. <laughs> you know, I'm just imagining that info commercial. Like, wow. How does he do it? Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Mays here. Hi. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> God. All right. <laughs> I send your mother flowers every Tuesday just to be nice. Aww. Aww. That's it. Just to be nice. No other reason. And uh, I also own a magic school bus that can take you anywhere in the world. Oh. You okay. wanted spontaneous trips, did you yeah, not? I did. Anywhere in the world, <laughs> whenever you want. Magic school bus. Doesn't even need to drive. See, the, see San Francisco right there? I don't want to look behind me. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> don't. All right, don't. <laughs> Why did we pick this stage, dude? Why did you put it so close, though? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I wanted to jump off it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. He asked if he could do it. And she was like, you can, but it's got, like, nasty algae right now. And I was yeah. like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, again, you wanted a spontaneous trip, and I have a magic school bus that can take you anywhere in the world. Magic, mm -hmm. doesn't need uh, gas, doesn't need fuel, just boom, school bus, there we are. We can sleep in it, right? You've seen those converted school buses. You've seen van life. That's us. And here's the only thing. I have, I have a safe with $10 million in it, but the only way to unlock it is with your, with my partner's ear chopped off. So he has to cut off your ear to open the safe. Only if you want the $10 million. Do you want $10 million? No, I'm okay. <laughs> See? Then we have nothing. All, all that means is I just send your, uh, your mother flowers on Tuesday while we're traveling the world in our magic school bus. And if at any point times get rough and you need like 10 milli, uh, just give me your left ear. <laughs> How much does it cost to get an ear sewn back on? Because that might be a smart investment. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing it. Thank you. Dude, do you not know how this game works? I was just thinking personally. <laughs> like, I was into it. Like, when you were, like, Magic School Bus, I was like, that's cool. <laughs> I would say it's probably, like, do you have insurance? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Dude, no one has like, insurance these days. Insurance. <laughs> you, have insur you, have, you have health insurance, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so to say it was an accident. Okay. Health insurance, well, I don't know. We'll pay, like, the 10 grand up front. They'll take care of the rest. 
<laughs> now, and here you have nine point nine nine million dollars. That's not worth it. <laughs> For an ear? That's really. That's not worth it. You exactly. Sure? Yeah. For ten million. What the? I f- I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I don't even want to f- date you now. <laughs> that's right. Yo, you you tell me we can make ten million. All you got to do is lose a f- ear, and you won't do it. No. You selfish. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, exactly. No, that's fine. no school bus. <laughs> no, it's gone. Hey, this you, is this school bus is not where the magic will happen. All right, we're not. <laughs> you like uh, you like chicken Alfredo. A little bit of, a little bit of, uh, maybe put some red sauce in it. You know? <laughs> Wait, chicken Alfredo with red sauce? Yeah, that, you can't see it. That's the sweetener. It's blood. It's not really red sauce, okay? Uh, walk me, <laughs> chef, walk me through how blood, blood known as an incredibly salty substance. Mm-hmm. How do you make it sweet? It's a secret. Are you the f- colonel at KFC? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I am the number one chef in the world. And everything that I make is fantastic. I just use a little bit of blood. Who cares? That's not that bad, right? Where do you get the blood, though? From your ear that we're going to chop off. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. We're getting that f- safe open, okay? <laughs> That's how we're going to open the first restaurant. <laughs> we need the money. <laughs> listen, we plotted this whole thing. We need an investor. We, we thought you would be interested. Oh. <laughs> Good times. Really, not even earlobe for ten million? No. Damn. I'm good. <laughs> what about what about like even like just like this part of your ear, the earlobe? Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh, bro. <laughs> what? I was still thinking about the school bus. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it? Just no. A little Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> ten mil. No. Ten mil. No. What, okay. if, what if we did it in your sleep? No. Like you didn't even know it was going to happen. You no. wouldn't even hear it. What if we numbed it first? What if we took like a couple like morphine needles and just kind of like poked the area and then just chopped it off? No. And then, and then woke you up and it was already sewn back no. on. And then you just magically had $10 million. No. Come on. Wow. <laughs> you know what you could do with 10 mil? I do. I'm still good. <laughs> okay. So what would you do with $10 million? Yeah. Pay off some loans, probably. You got Student 10 loans. mil in loans right now? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, if you got 10 million in loans already, then the loan sharks are going to be chopping off your ear. We don't need to do it. I mean, it's, it's the U.S. education system. Are you really surprised? <laughs> yeah, true. I paid off my loans. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Okay. What are, uh, what are you feeling right now? Look, we don't have to chop off your ear. It's just if times get tough. You know what I mean? No, I think, I think I'm going to go with Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll make you coffee later. <laughs> yeah, with your own blood. <laughs> with your own blood. No, not their blood. Okay. All right, Corey won that round. What what sold uh, Corey for you? Not getting my ear chopped it's, off. It's only if. It's only if we need the $10 million. It says it's in the safe ready if we chop off your ear. Yeah, but if you need $10 million, you're going to chop off my ear whether I want you to or not. Yeah, I am. Absolutely. That was a really good read. Good job not trusting yeah, me. Yeah, for sure. Because it definitely, it definitely costs less than a, than a mil to get your ear sewn back on. For sure. That is like... I, I'll do it for $5. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm willing to chop off your anything, I care about putting it back on the right way. <laughs> well, see, that's extra incentive not to. Then. <laughs> no, that's fair. I was just curious. All right, Corey, congrats on your win. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. I got that from you. Thank you. All right, so let's do this. We'll do one more round. If you win, again, don't make it biased. If you win, we'll go to the tiebreaker. If I win, it's over. Okay. Okay, let's do that. What's huh? your name, man? Uh, Roberto. Alberto? Roberto. Roberto. Yeah. Okay, Roberto. What are you looking for in your partner? I think I'm um, looking for like a little excitement, mm-hmm. a little ghost hunting too. Okay. Probably a little a- adrenaline junkie too. Okay. You want to you go cliff jumping right now? I would. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that laugh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a cute laugh, Roberto. Thank you. I get that a lot sometimes. Uh. <laughs> Yo, I just made him do it. What? He just went, huh. <laughs> are, are y'all doing the Estes method right now? Uh-uh. I don't know. <laughs> okay. You want to go first? Or I yeah. Don't know if you're unraveled yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Okay, so um, do you like old people? <laughs> <sighs> Not, you, well, 
No, not, not old. No, not really. No, but like, don't you care about them? Yeah. You know, like, don't yeah. you feel bad? Yeah. Like, you know, what? like, like, what? no, like, you know, like when it's hard for them to eat even just normal food, like a cheeseburger, like when you're like 102, 103, you can't eat a cheeseburger like you used to. Well, guess what I do every Sunday? I volunteer at the old folks' home, and I chew up their food and feed it to them. Oh. <laughs> I'm your, such a good guy. That's your green flag? Yes. <laughs> oh. Guess what? You like haunted stuff, right? Yeah. I will take you to every haunted museum in the world. Okay. Name a haunted museum you want to go to. You want to go to Warren? We can, yeah. I'll take for you to sure. Warren. Let's go. That's it. However, <laughs> oh God, um, this is you know it's this isn't that bad. Like this is something that we can move past. You know we just gotta get used to it. But I currently have thirty-two demon baby children. Damn. <laughs> okay. From how many moms? <laughs> Thirty-three. <laughs> what? Yeah. You sewed one together. I don't know. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> you don't have to talk about that part. <laughs> but we can get past that. You know, that's not that bad. Thirty-two demon babies. I just imagine you taking your thirty-two babies to the senior center and having them chew the food. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how you feed all the elderly. Exactly. Because like, I'm that like good football? of a father. Are you a football guy? I like football, Okay, yeah. you can never go to a game because every Sunday yeah. he's chewing food for old people. <laughs> no. All right. Incorrect. Incorrect. And, he, and here's the thing, which is it's so weird. He has 32 demon children. How old are you, by the way? I'm um, currently 26. Okay. <laughs> so you're not that old. When did you have your first kid? Uh, I was 25. <laughs> Impressive. Thank you. That's one every two weeks. <laughs> You're busy. Was that you I heard in the Estes Method? <laughs> Here's the thing. He's got 32 demon children. Whether they're actual demons or just like demon children, it doesn't matter. He's obviously done a terrible job raising them, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, all children love, respect, and listen to me without question. Okay. All right? And... I am, in underline and capital letters, I am very well endowed. Mm. Assuming that's what you want. I don't mm. The f*** does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm well endowed. Well, I mean, if you're into dudes, then it's a good thing. We okay. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? But if I got to peg you, you're probably like smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Just read the red flag. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? I am a vampire that can give you immortality and endless riches. But in order for me to survive, I have to seductively and passionately suck blood from other single women and make you watch me while I do it. <laughs> so, look, let's, I, I think for my sake, I don't, I mean, you know, if you just want me to watch me suck on women, you know, then I'm the perfect person for you, I guess. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right. Uh, <laughs> but then again, chewing Let's food. talk about old people. <laughs> Have you ever chewed food up for an old person? Never. Do you want to? Not really. You guys can go back. You, can, you guys can talk. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like I got kind of oddly pigeonholed here because mine is definitely meant for like a straight female. Yeah. Because I'm very um, well endowed and it's all about you have to watch me make out with other women. Let me just take a liberty here. All right? I'm just going to change this. I am not very well endowed. I am extremely tight. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me? I am extremely tight. What? All right. I am the tightest you have ever had. What the f***? Did you watch the Nate Diaz fight last night? I didn't. You didn't? All no. right. Well, he had someone in a chokehold, and I am tighter than that. All right. Um, whatever you want, I'm just going to just right around it. You know what I mean? I'm going to give you perfect pressure. And again, here's the thing. All I got to do, endless riches, and you're immortal. All right? You're immortal. You have all the money you want, and the only thing is you have to just watch me seductively and passionately suck blood from other dudes. Why would you want to watch that when we could go to any haunted museum you want to? 
Doesn't that sound more fun than watching your partner technically cheat on you? How much? How much do you think you could buy the uh, Warren Hunt Museum for? What do you think? Ten million? Maybe. Hundred million? Maybe less. Like five, ten, maybe. Five, ten million? Great. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Endless f-ing riches. <laughs> You don't have to go visit them anymore. You can buy them all, open your own haunted museum, and there you go. And all you got to do is just watch me suck on some dudes. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> have you ever wanted to? You ever wanted to eat pizza but not take in the calories? Well, every Sunday, you can come with me to the old folks' home. Billy Mays here. <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here. And again, do you want kids one day? Yeah, they're gonna I got have, 32 of them. <laughs> <laughs> they're all demons. They're all demons. And meanwhile, our kids, always, all, not only our kids, but all the kids that our kids hang out with, all the other kids at school, on the Little League team, anywhere else, they're all going to respect me, love me, and listen to me without question. Okay, I think Her- I have made up my mind. It's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? He did it again. I think I'm going to go with Corey. What the f***? Thank you. Why? I'll tell you why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Because he has 32 demons, so I can still have all total riches and all that stuff with them. Wait, they're babies, though, dog. It's okay. You going to sell them? They're more powerful when they're little. <laughs> they also can't speak English yet. We don't know that. <laughs> I do. A demon baby? <laughs> ga ga goo goo Satan. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, Corey wins. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to a final round. We're going to a final round. You ready to come on up? I don't know who was the next number. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yeah, it's... It's, it's not that far. It's like 45 feet, 40 feet, yeah. What is your name? Megan. All right, and I apologize for all the earmuffs you've had to put on your children tonight. <laughs> I can't help it that they love you guys. <laughs> Wait, do you watch our videos or is it just... Yeah, we all do. Oh, okay. Yeah, all no, right, cool. we started because of them. Okay, yeah. so you kind of probably knew this was coming at some point. Knew what was coming. Our personalities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 we, we know. <laughs> We know. <laughs> okay. Obviously, you have a partner. I'm yes. seeing. I'm seeing the ring. Uh huh. Describe your partner to me. Actually, no. How could you make your partner better? <laughs> Let's talk about that one. Um, <laughs> it'd be really cool if he would be into the paranormal and not think that we're crazy for mm. enjoying this stuff. <laughs> Do you think after watching this episode, he's gonna think we're any less crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna watch this. <laughs> Okay, but uh, you know, keep keep describing me. You're you're perfect person. What's the goal? What's the dream? I here? want adventures, fun, and uh, sense of humor, um, but also like caring and compassionate for other people, like empathy. Do you? Uh... That that doesn't mean that he's not those ways. Those are the things that I like. Good job I won't covering tell you which that are up. Good job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you like celebrities? Uh, sure. Yeah. Who's totally. your favorite celebrity? Oh gosh. If you could name one celebrity right now. Crap on a cracker. Joe Biden? Uh, no, no, no. You just say, cr- you just say crap on a cracker? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Who, what's my celebrity? Reba? Like? You like Reba? No, shh. Oh, David Tennant. Who? Yes, David Tennant, 100%. Who? Okay. Who? Who's David Tennant? One of the I doctors. Don't know. One of the Doctor doctors. Who. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, guess what? What? I'm best friends with every single celebrity in the world. Oh. And we can go hang out with them whenever you want to. Okay. So who is that again? David da- Tennant. Yep. Yes. We can hang out with him. <laughs> you really should right watch Doctor now. Who. We can go hang out with him. Do you have an impression of him, by the way, since you yeah, hang right. out with him so often? <laughs> Hello, I'm David. <laughs> He's Scottish. <laughs> He's Scottish. Is he? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm Davey. <laughs> Actually, I heard he's. Fr- oh, I actually, I actually heard he's French. He's French, right? Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Well, guess what else? What else? I also have an endless supply of tax-free and untraceable but legal money. Oh, sweet. Okay. That's a lot of money. Nice. Wow. <laughs> what um, do you do? Wow. <laughs> 
Um, wow. Uh, however, um, <laughs> oh, the eye squint. The eye squint note makes me feel like this is really bad. It's not that <laughs> bad. <laughs> however, no, we can get past this. Um, well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm a werewolf. Oh, okay. and a what? Wait, sorry, what? I'm a werewolf. A a what? A werewolf. Woof. Yeah, werewolf. <laughs> Woof. A it's were- literally spelled like that. Oh. Werewolf. Oh, you, okay. What is it? Wolf? Wolf. Wolf. There's an L. Wolf. Oh, there, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> werewolf. <laughs> Does anyone else hear it? Is it just me that hears werewolf? Dude, I say words certain ways, okay? I'm a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm a werewolf. Um, but. Every single time that there's a full moon, I grow <laughs> body hair. Every, my, my entire body just gets covered, like 12 inches of hair everywhere. And I only have 24 hours to wax it off or I die. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> oh, I... I <laughs> I messed it up. It's actually, it's actually you that grows the body. <laughs> no thanks. It's, a, it's actually you. Wait, so you're the werewolf, but I grow the hair. Yeah. Every time the moon comes out, you know why? You want to know why I knew that was you grow the body hair? Because I f- wrote that one. <laughs> Dude, dude oh, so wait, you wrote the chameleon one earlier, right? <laughs> Guess which one I wrote. I wrote that you get your mom flowers. Aww. That's the one I wrote, guys. <laughs> so yeah, you apparently grow a full body suit of hair every time the moon comes out. Ugh. AKA, right now, you're growing. The whole, just the moon? Yeah. Not once a month? No. Oh, jeez. Nope. Okay. Wait, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Wait, did it say every time the moon or once a month? No, it said every time the moon is out. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's not a period. But that's 20. <laughs> but basically, you have to wax it off 20 every day. Yeah, but have you ever wanted to, you know, change up your look? You ever just wanted to have short hair for a day? You know but what I'm you saying? you die. Get a little bob. But I die if I don't get it off. Yeah, but we can wax it off. That's not a big deal. <laughs> you ever been waxed, dude? No. It's a big f- deal. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, and, we're, and it says full body, not 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 a Brazilian wax, <laughs> all of the Brazilian, but Chile, imagine how Portugal cool. wax, Spanish wax. But imagine how cool you would look for those twenty four hours, oh, twenty three hours and fifty nine minutes, no, every day, not for twenty four hours, every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, correct. Yes, it's not that bad. Uh, okay, but we can hang out with Reba. <laughs> Reba? Reba Wait. McIntyre. Oh, Reba McIntyre. Okay. Wait, actually, I might, uh, you could actually invite every favorite celebrity you have. I could. Give them, to each, see my one, hairy give them each one wax strip <laughs> and they can all at the exact same time wow. pull it off. You Just, would have the biggest channel on YouTube. <laughs> David Tennant, Shaquille O'Neal, mm. Reba, Waxing all of them. My just body. <laughs> Dr. It off. Phil waxed me? Gone wrong? <laughs> Imagine that clickbait. Who's your favorite singer? Who's my favorite singer? <laughs> Yeah, why do you look at your... Fr- my brain stops working when I'm up here. <laughs> who's, your, who's your favorite athlete? Your favorite, uh, my favorite musician? Your idol? Your, your childhood hero? Oh, geez. My childhood heroes were like Bruce Willis. Have you ever like, wanted to get waxed by Bruce Willis? Uh, that would be pretty cool, All right, actually. well, now Bruce Willis can <laughs> wax your asshole. So, perfect. <laughs> okay. Right. And then, and then okay. meanwhile, meanwhile, here, here I am. <clears throat> and... Uh, I take you on a month-long Europe trip every year. Oh, sweet. Okay. Every year we go to Europe for a full month, and my lips and sweat taste like your favorite food. Okay. Well, chicken Alfredo? <laughs> What's your favorite food? Oh, I like... Um, do, you, do you ask her? She'll know. I know. <laughs> What's my favorite food? It's my sister. <laughs> Uh, I like sushi. I like, but I wouldn't want that to eat off your face. Um, let, Ooh, your go, sweat tastes like spicy tuna. I'd go for more like like mango ice cream or something okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Uh, after the gym, you can just lick mango <laughs> ice cream off me. That sounds gross. And look, and look. Here's the thing. I am your perfect <laughs> boyfriend. Literally, specifically perfect. Everything you want. I am that. But my ex is a demon that haunts down all of my new girlfriends. 
what just ha- haunts them? Hunts. Hunts. Hunts, 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 them. hunts, hunts them and does oh, yeah. what? You're going to die. Okay. So either I die or I get whacked. Well, no, hunts. I have to just keep running. Yeah, you know? <laughs> But here's the thing. <clears throat> That's what, and you know what's great about that? We're always running. Guess what that means? I'm always sweating. Guess what that means? I always <laughs> taste like mango ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, guess what? We're on the run. We're on the run. You're tired. Just give me a... <laughs> right? You're yeah, hydrated but, and mango. Perfect. But you can't even enjoy that month-long trip. You're constantly running. I'm on the run. As soon as you sit down, you know, let's say you go to the spa, you go to a restaurant. <gasps> oh, look. It's his ex. You have to leave. You got to start running. You're going to deal with that? When you could have got waxed by <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing. That's I why really have no interest in getting waxed every day. That sounds like a fate worse than death, Look, being waxed every single day. You said you, you want an adventurous <clears throat> life, right? Yes. That's why we're on a new trip every we're month. We're running. Every month we're running just on the run. Running from the demon X. <laughs> yeah, come on. You, you, you love action movies, right? Yeah. Now I, we live our own. I'm going to have to go with Elton on this one. Yeah. Purely... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings being the tiebreaker, but um, I really don't want to be waxed every day. Yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. It's sorry. Whatever. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. What if you got only waxed every month? Full body every month. Oh, I could probably handle that. But what were the... the, 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 the it green? was when a full moon happens. No, green flag. Oh, it was I, so uh, long ago. What was it? It was I'm friends with every celebrity. Oh, celebrity. Yeah, and David then something Tennant. else. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm mean, already lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still every day. So I'm okay. going to have to go with that one. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I'll take that from you. That's why I, I got the victory at a 3 2 win. Yeah, it's whatever. I don't care. All right. Well, I think for this part, because I think it truly really, it is like really important to us. Um, this tour wouldn't have been possible without the team that we did it with. I, like genuinely, it would be absolutely impossible. We wake up at locations. We wake up at 2 p.m. and we're just here. There's people that drive. There's people that set up the merch. Yep. Everyone that helps load in the stage. Unfortunately, today we didn't have to bring the chairs, but normally we're loading in our own chairs, our speakers. You know, everything that you see here is brought in by us. All the lights, the cameras. We had places where we didn't have power, and we had to like run power lines off our motorhome and like bathrooms and porta potties and all that fun stuff. So we do want to bring up the people that kind of like help to make this tour possible um, and hear some of their stories just because this, it literally is the 25th uh, show on tour yep. and I really want to know what <laughs> talk they have. Um, <laughs> so uh, Ginger and Jerry, can you, can you guys come up here? Come oh, up here. I'm curious. Come up here. Come on. Oh, I'm curious. And I, and I swear, if y'all don't know how to hold these f***ing mics right after a month on tour... Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. This is how you hold the mic, guys. Yeah, you know, I was just making sure you didn't tip over. <laughs> Jerry's like... I actually have a... <laughs> Jerry, hold the... God damn it, dude. I was just, just seeing if you were looking. I forgot about this. What is this? This is one of the screws to one of the chairs because oh everything's God. breaking. <laughs> so one you of these chairs what? is... What? You have one to know you don't... I have this. Oh, my <laughs> God. Wait, is that why I'm sitting on this <laughs> shit? Yeah. Give me the Hold damn skirt. No, you're going to fall off. No, definitely do not do that. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, okay. yeah. everything when is falling apart. When we say everything on this tour is falling apart, I mean literally everything. You both had one? I don't even know. We've been busy. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, to, to recap, like literally since day one on tour, taillights weren't working. We've had five tires pop. Um, we've had our side view mirror literally go down to one bolt where some like 12-year-old in an ambulance showed up and <laughs> fixed it. He that fixed sound, it. That he sounds fixed ridiculous. It. A 12-year-old showed up in his dad's ambulance, just hopped in our motorhome and went, you got a fuse out and then fixed everything. <laughs> yeah. Literally. That was a... Re- hold the mic properly. What I'm are you- letting you talk. But you're, hold- you're letting the wind hit it. What are you... You should know this. Jeez. <laughs> um, we've had like everything possibly go wrong, including having Jerry drive. It has uh-huh. been... <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen... Jerry's a great driver. Oh, there's really just good job. there's just been some days when I wake up and I'm <laughs> guys I'm being dead <laughs> serious. There's been so many days when I'm like sleeping and I what just What happens to some? Listen. Write them out. There's been some days where I'm, you know, sound asleep and th- this is literally what happens. I, this this is how I wake up, ready? I go from this to this. <laughs> Because yeah, either so Jerry true. almost hit someone or someone almost <laughs> hit Jerry. But the amount of times that that 30 foot RV has drifted. Yep, yep. It's and I didn't even true. know that it was possible. Or you just hear on like the side of the RV, you just hear. Meow. 
<laughs> like, you hear like the horns. <laughs> so loud. Or the Oh, of the rumble strips. <laughs> no, the, the, the amount of times that we're driving, let's say like we're pulling into a location and I'm sitting up front with you and here we go, you know, we're driving, you know, we're going like 20, 30 and there's just a giant branch. Obviously, it's about to hit the RV and Jerry's just like... <laughs> and then it hits the RV and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's how we lost all of our solar panels that what? were on the top of no, the No, it was my fault. Oh, solar, was no, solar panels oh. were definitely my fault. Okay, to be fair, though, oh, you had never even driven a motorhome first until time. day two of tour. First time. Like, literally the very first time, because we were time. trying to figure out, we're like, you can, you, we can trust our lives with you while we drive. <laughs> Six, what, what, we've driven 12 and a half thousand miles on tour. Yeah. I hate yeah. the fact, though, that like I've been to so many demonic places all over the world, and I never once thought to pray until I woke up to Jerry driving. <laughs> I just wake up and I'm like, oh, no, not today. <laughs> Yo, I have this weird, I sleep on the top bunk, like right above the driver's seat, and I have this weird little crack yeah. where I can just see out the window. And there's times where I just feel the bump and I look down and I go, dead. That's dead. it. We're dead. Life over, dead. I'm gonna yeah. haunt, I'm gonna haunt the freeway in Kansas at mile marker 487 because Jerry's trying to text his girlfriend. Yep. It's oh, or when I go on Insta stories midday and I'm like, Insta stories watching, Jerry's like, hey, we made it to Kentucky. I'm like, oh, this is when we're sleeping and you're driving on the freeway. Yeah, but like, like we don't know. Like we don't check your Instagram stories. Yeah. It's a good selfie. It's not that bad. It was not that bad. It's not that bad. We're here. We're here. Alive. One piece. Yeah, we made it. We made it. We this is the here. final Last show. Let's go. Okay, what what have, well, Jerry, what have been all of your duties on tour? Because I, I know you, you do merch, yep. you drive, yep. you help with load ins and load outs. You also cook at oh, times. Oh, yeah. You cook a decent amount of the meals. We are the chefs on on tour. What this what else are, what else are you doing on tour? Because I'm sure there's other things I'm not counting in right now. I mean, no. Uh, overall, I think we all help each other out. Um, whether that's with sounds, bringing in stuff. Hold that mic closer, bro. The, oh, yep. Perfect. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, so I think I think we all chip in a good amount for everyone's work. Um, you know, setting up lights, setting up stages, uh, just bring everything in, bring it, everything out, loading out. I think I'm the main driver other than Elton. So driving the trailer, driving the RV, it's a it's a huge responsibility too. Um, just moving from point A to point B to point C. But yeah, you did and leave something out though. What that Jerry does. Okay, tell him, I guess. Um, well, you always call me baby and you spank me. Look, <laughs> <laughs> dead ass. I'm not even joking. He we'll get done with do the that. show. He and, he's like, and he's like, that was a good show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you, I think you played football or something growing up, bro. I That's did, why I it's did. okay. It you, nice you, know, you know how you're supposed to knock three times when you introduce yourself in an investigation? Jerry has to spank Corey three times. <laughs> Be like, Daddy's here. Daddy's here. Daddy's here. <laughs> oh you're gonna be, God. you're gonna be safe tonight, baby. Don't worry. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, but originally too, you were supposed to be driving the motorhome with the trailer. Oh my and God. Until we realized that we you were probably, drive. we were probably going to destroy <laughs> the motorhome because we overloaded. Our trailer's been overloaded. Our trailer's meant to hold five thousand pounds. I think we're carrying around eleven thousand. Yeah. yeah. So we're carrying yeah. literally like our the the tires are overinflated to make up for the amount of pressure that we're putting on them. Yep. Um, so originally you're supposed to drive that collectively, and then twelve hours before leaving for tour, we realized one we couldn't do the load ins. We're like we're gonna die. We literally physically we were going to die. And honestly. <laughs> At one point on this tour, I thought I was going to die. There was a like, yeah. what was it? Five days ago? Yeah. Five days ago, we I was I was straight up out. I was throwing up blood and like yeah. swallowing blood. Like I yeah. was like, oh, I literally got ready to call Corbin to be like, hey, dude, I, I need you to come in and do these investigations for me. Like I can't, I'm not gonna be able to finish. Um, and like fought our way through it. So like during the load in phase, we were like we couldn't do it. So we hired someone last minute, who's your cousin. Yes. Uh, we hired him. So now he drives the truck Riley. and trailer. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be up on camera. <laughs> but Riley drives yeah. the truck and trailer, it which was is one a.m. in our driveway, and we were doing like a practice run. It'll be fun. We'll set up the stage, do everything, and after the practice run, we're like, this was not fun. We need to hire someone immediately, and we leave tomorrow. So. I thought I was gonna be able to do it myself. No, <laughs> like, was, dude. The, the practice shit. run was literally twenty-two feet. 20, it was literally from the front of my house to my driveway. This load in, it was like 1,500 feet. You yeah. know what I mean? And we didn't even yeah. have to bring in chairs like or anything. So, yeah, exactly. Dying. And so, and so Riley, 
like, you know, to give him credit, like he drives the truck and trailer and literally sleeps in the truck because the motorhome was only designed for seven people when we left for tour. We didn't have a way to build another bed in the motorhome on one day's notice. So this dude was just like, I'll just sleep in the back of the truck. And he's done that all tour. Mm. Shout out to Riley. (laughs) Shout out to Riley. (laughs) Yeah. And the night, and also the night where someone tried breaking in, in and he was Buffalo. asleep in the back. Oh my god! Yes, yeah. Riley's had some adventures on his own for sure. He, he like literally we're at Buffalo. Uh, it was what USS Little Rock. Little Rock, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And this was probably at like one a.m., two a.m. Everyone's about to go to sleep. They're doing their paranormal investigation, right? Riley's sleeping right next to us. The car was parked next to each other. And then Riley was sleeping in the car, but he didn't he usually leave it unlocked because if he locks it and he moves, he didn't know there's a setting called like the camper's mode, right? So if you move, the alarm goes off. And that's happened a few times already. So Riley always keeps it unlocked. And apparently, out of nowhere, he sleeps in the back. The driver's door opens and these kids or something just like hopped in. And Riley just like, they, they like made eye contact. Oh, and Ooh, he had an orgasm. <laughs> 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 it, was a, it was a callback. It was a, it was a callback, dude. It was like, Corey's like, what? The kids? <laughs> what? Riley's like, I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> But I kid oh you not, God. this guy came, Riley's a big dude. If he's you a, see him, he's a big dude. He came out with a military grade knife. Shirtless. Which is like, <laughs> with a knife. It. Damn. Yeah. Oh, wait, <laughs> tell me more, but slower. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's he's been through it. Riley's he been through it. it. Yeah. yeah. We haven't had any fights on tour, have we? Like no one's really, we've never gotten heated, did we? No, not yet. We there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I will push you backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for that, this is also my girlfriend. I don't know if anyone knows that. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah Ginger. So and he's I- allowed to threaten me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's one of my it's one of my red flags, but I told her ahead of time. I have known. You know, I've perfect known. boyfriend, Constantly chameleon penis, but every once in a while, it's a fair balance. <laughs> oh man, cool. but yeah, we. The, all of us were part of the original planning phase of this, picking out locations. Originally, this tour routed all the way through Texas, yep. Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, and then mm-hmm. we had two locations cancel on us, which caused like a huge rerouting. It was just like it was going to cause us to have like sixteen-hour drives, and it didn't make sense anymore. Yeah. And then last minute, we had to like reroute everything, and even booking this place, I was like being such a pain in. The because I didn't know when the tour was going to end. Yeah. But like Ginger's had to like handle all the locations and payments and she checks everyone in and waivers and Jerry was part of like the research and the routing and all that fun stuff. So you want to talk any shit though? I'm kind of curious. Do we have shit to talk? Talk I think we have a little shit to talk. Oh Not my God. Wait, oh, wait, hold on. This means you guys have uh, pre-planned something. We've thought, uh, we've been planning this since day one. <laughs> Every night after the show, we go, we cook, we do our thing mm-hmm. and you just do a little talking so this is just you know. okay talk, about talk shit some shit talking. yeah i'm they curious like shit. i'm very <laughs> curious they what? do not shower no that is actually the biggest shit we don't have That's time to shower shit. hey you know why we don't <laughs> shower jerry because you use all the goddamn water in the motorhome every day jerry <laughs> to be to be Yo, fair I- every time you <laughs> clean dishes you drain the water tank you run Wait, our water oh, like it's endless i'm sorry we clean dishes after cooking you dinner every oh, night guess what? you would you rather have clean dishes or a clean boyfriend i mean apparently i'd rather eat food so yeah <laughs> <laughs> got him <laughs> oh man sh- talking keep going keep going <laughs> keep going Yo, come straight, on, come straight on, up on. though did you not realize that we were, we didn't have endless water because i remember there was like two nights in a row where ginger's like jerry just drained everything into the sink oh <laughs> no, you didn't, that, oh, there wait, was one oh, night wait, when he wait. was doing dishes does, and jerry, you know, does, when you, jerry does that oh, mean you don't know that ginger talks shit on you <laughs> oh. oh he knows he knows oh i'm gonna tear them apart Corey. <laughs> Let's oh watch. no it's impossible it. <laughs> we are a group we have our group this is it can we please talk about what your group chat name is between no Fine. What's your group chat called, huh? Huh? We don't. We're, our group chat's haunted homies. So that's everyone. Okay, but you so have, have your own group chat. Called chat. Haunted homies. That's everybody on the tour. But there's four of us who don't do the overnight investigations. We do a lot of different stuff. So while they're gone, we said let's start a new group chat so we don't blow up their phone when it's like, oh, who's cooking and who's doing this to so get the last up. So Jenny <laughs> thought of the name of her group chat because we realized a very obvious difference with us. So we've got these two guys and the cameraman. And then there's us, and we realized that we're the only not white ones. So we're, we're the ethnics. We're the ethnics. <laughs> we're the ethnics. So, they so you cannot break the ethnics apart. apart. <laughs> they, they created a group chat called Team Ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> because 
<laughs> you're, and Corey keeps trying to join. I, I do. <laughs> I really, I do. I really want to join. <laughs> He's like, I'm tan, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I am tan. I am. You are I am. Tan, Corey but you texted, ain't like, me hablo espanol. <laughs> 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 me join, por favor. Nope, sorry. That ain't happening. <laughs> oh, emo muene. <laughs> That's Estonian. That is so nice. That was Estonian. That was Estonian. <laughs> Marty's dying. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep that in your group chat, okay, guys? <laughs> uh, is there any other, any other shit talk at all? Jerry, anything? No, no shit talk. I love you guys. You guys have been great. Honestly, I, I thought from the start, you know, it's a lot of men in the in one setting. There's going to be a lot of alphas. And you are a lot of men, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, damn, look at those calves, dude. I never noticed them. They're nice, Not huh? Black. Dude, f- those are great, oh, dude. <laughs> this is great lighting over yeah, here. Those are great. You need to calm mm. down. It's a good uh, gastrocnemius right there on you, bro. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no, it's been great. He's Honestly, so, he's so cute it's, when he's it's embarrassed. <laughs> oh, Jerry, <laughs> don't let him bully you. It's okay. All right, keep going. Bully him, being no one. All right, carry on. No, I really thought we were gonna fight. I really, Wait, really? I really did. What? I we thought, I thought someone that. was going to fight. We're like, we're going to fight at you think? Some point. I'm a did you guys person. have bets I'm, on I'm, anything? No. Who do you think was going to fight? Mm. Wait, no. Now I'm really curious. Interesting. Who, Who do you think fight? was going to fight? I for sure thought you and Kyle were going to go at it. Me and Kyle? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> and also, fair. I had my money on you taking That's him down. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I heard I heard Ginger talking shit earlier. Yeah, tell me. She was saying, oh, I heard you were saying gossip. that we slammed the doors oh, when we finished investigations. Every Okay, we'll talk about that when Jenny comes over too, but mm-hmm. every morning or night, 5 a.m., no, it sounds like that. Yeah, it yeah. Sound, that was actually it. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Did so, it break? Oh, Jenny, oh. can you grab a chair? Oh, shit. Is that chair open oh, in the middle, okay? though, right now? You don't think a ghost broke it? Oh, my. Damn. <laughs> Yo, did you sign our waiver? Are you okay? Oh, shit. <laughs> of course he's, yes, he signed the he waiver. He signed the waiver, oh, right? Of course he did, yeah. Cool, dude. Hope you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really just broke? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry, dude. Hey, let me make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Do that to me. All right, Jenny, your turn on stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of that, no. Jerry- <laughs> no. oh my god, oh no, Jerry, how does it feel to oh, know that we've done it one foot on top of your head? Cover the ears. Oh my, remember, Dude. remember when I mentioned that I sleep? I sleep right above Jerry's, uh, Jerry's oh driver's seat. Oh my god, Ginger sleeps there with me. Mm-hmm. And uh, how does it make you feel, Jerry? Ah <laughs> <sighs> oh, man, oh man. <laughs> You know what's crazy? Two days ago. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? Say it. What? Say it. Wait, what? Dude, say it. Two days ago. We're driving from Utah. Utah out here, actually. No, Utah's a Virginia city. Yeah, yeah. It was early in the morning. We had to drive from like 5 a.m., right? At 7 a.m., the view was so nice. I was just looking out. Next thing you know, you see this like little drip of water just, oh. bro. That was not me, dude. That was, that was like, I was like, right now, seven a.m. <laughs> what do you? So Elton, I thought you're, what do you mean a drip of water? Dude, I know exactly what that was. It's, it's not what it's you the, thought it was. It's the AC. We have a real. No, no, no. It wasn't that. It was my. So we bought these water bottles from Walmart on like the first week of tour because yeah. we keep. If you drink a bottle and you have a half a bottle of water and it pisses me off. And so I was like, we're buying water bottles. And so I filled my water bottle up and it was in the bed, like like right next to my pillow for weeks and weeks. And it was the morning. I woke up, I went to drink water and it's like a, you flip it and the straw pops up. So I'm laying on my stomach and I reached over and I flipped it and it just like freaking exploded all over my face. And I thought about that. Did you just- Walmart water bottle, oh, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walmart. Yeah. It got on my pillow. That was a really good lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Not you. Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jerry, Jerry, so Walmart. don't don't buy your water bottles at Walmart. Anyways, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have my earphones on. I, I pretend yeah. to not know anything and just oh, drive. Man. It's been. But I told Elton I'll help him. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Wait, what did you what? say? Why do you think I go on the? Brrr? <laughs> 
I'm helping yeah, my man out. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got you, <laughs> dog. <laughs> boost. <laughs> you purposely drive <laughs> off the road. Yo, I'm just like, yo, Jerry, can you hit that off ramp real quick? <laughs> It's Anyways, been a, it's been a very fun, a fun trip. Uh, it's been a journey. It yeah. has been. All right. Well, last day. Yeah, man. Wow. We'll be home. Good we'll job. be home. Uh, we'll be home in a few hours. We'll cool. be home at the I house. Mean. All right. Well, Jerry, can I replace you from someone else from yes. Team Ethnic? Team Ethnic. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Jenny, come up. Come up here, Jenny. Thank. Give a round of applause for Woo! Jerry. He, he's done so much stuff to make this possible. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Jenny, was all, you were also hired on two weeks' notice? I think it was 18 days. <laughs> <laughs> to be exact. Where, where were we? We were, in, were in Mexico. We were in Mexico. We were, in, we were on a Travel TFIL Mexico trip. Yep. Yeah. The first and only trip that you didn't attend. Yep. Yes. Um, so I run, I run something called Travel TFIL, right? We do these like eight long trips or eight day long trips. And Jenny was on the first of four of them. Um, and that's, that's how we met. And obviously I'd known I've basically lived with you for a month. Mm-hmm. And then we were in Mexico getting ready for the tour and then again realized, oh, we need more people. This won't, this won't <laughs> happen. Um, and he said, let's FaceTime Jenny. And I was like, let's do it. Said, do you want to come five weeks? Live no, with I, us? Think my first, I think my first question was, hey, Jenny, are you still unemployed? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, yep. And yeah, she was like, yep. yep. And I was like, you want to come on tour for five weeks? And you're like, I got to ask yep. my parents. <laughs> <laughs> and then you jumped on tour. Yep. Mm-hmm. And how has this been for you? <laughs> it's been uh, crazy. Like, oh, uh, God. <laughs> Definitely not what I expected. What did but you oh. expect? <laughs> I don't even know. Did you expect more organization and better sleeping arrangements? <laughs> not really. Okay. No, she watched your live stream making the bunk beds. Yeah. So oh, when yeah. she showed up, she's like, is, one of those, is that where I'm sleeping? Because yeah. that's a little... Yeah, so Jenny's Jenny's bed, Kyle's bed, and Marty's bed were custom custom built. <laughs> custom, custom, built. custom built. <laughs> were, uh, were were hastily built by Evan and I. Evan, our camera guy for uh, every, everything for the last few years. Neither of us are carpenters or woodworkers, and we had to build your beds within the actual back of the motorhome because you couldn't build it and then carry it in. There was no room. I don't know. If, have you seen the construction of your bed? Like, do you know how it was built? Yes. Okay. Do you know more than I do then? Because yeah. I have no idea how we built it. Oh and we gosh. built like uh, two beds like this way and then another bed going over the top, which means if at any point Marty's bed were to break, you would die. Yep. Uh, 100%. <laughs> which means at any point, every time Jerry hit a bump, that's why I prayed. Because <laughs> I knew that back bunk was not going to make it over six potholes. Five was our limit. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then her bed has also become, so every, the storage is very limited in the RV. We said, your storage is just whatever you can fit under your bed. For five weeks, that's all you have. Then they said, Jenny, actually, you're going to get one square foot because this is where all the ghost tools and all the haunted things are going. So they, at the end of every night, 5 a.m., they open the the outdoor thing so she can feel the cold air go in, and then they just start throwing ghost tools underneath her bed. Boom, 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 boom. So Why are you speaking on her behalf? Damn, let okay, her you speak. Go. <laughs> well, I've heard it. Said. I've heard it a lot. <laughs> I've heard this story. Well, to be, to be fair, the reason we put the ghost tools in the RV is we felt the trailer was unsafe. Mm-hmm. And if at any point the trailer was broken into, they would probably take the toolboxes, they're the lightest and easiest to carry, and then tours over. Because that's five years with the paranormal tools. And then eventually we trusted putting it in the trailer. But that was why we put it there originally. And then when I found out that Jenny's getting woken up every day, we put it in the trailer. So, you know, if you would have just said something day one instead of talking I actually never said anything. No, it's weird. Neither of you ever said anything, you know? Because I, so, I would wake up and then go back to sleep. Oh, so Ginger's just using you <laughs> to start <laughs> <laughs> Corey's like, wow. <laughs> talk your <laughs> Jenny. I want to hear you talk <laughs> about me. I want to hear some juicy I don't have anything for you. Good. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you you met Corey the first day of tour, right? Yeah. You had never met Corey prior. Mm, well, we met at the house. Yeah, 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 I guess. Like yeah. yeah. And how, how was your experience with Corey then? Because you kind of knew what to get with me. Mm-hmm. That was good. <laughs> Just... <laughs> say it. Say it. Say, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to start drama. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I want some tea. Jenny, tell me the thing you told me the other night about him. 
What? That really mean thing. Yeah, what really mean thing? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm not All a right. mean person. <laughs> and, then, and then, Jenny, your, your duties have been you help load in. I do. Um, you help set up the Haunted Museum every night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was so funny. She gets to unwrap the Divic boxes. That's so funny. <laughs> like, not, like day one of, of her job, I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, I need you to touch 13 Divic boxes every night <laughs> and put them on the shelf and take them back down. You were like, okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. So that's been, that's part of your duties is setting those all up and taking them down every night. You help out with Ginger with check-ins. Yep. You help kind of scramble together all of the games and Q&A things and wristbands. And then you also help set up the ghost tools every night and you <laughs> wait we haven't talked about click oh, oh. <laughs> yeah oh my god we haven't You'll talked about click you all see this soon yeah. everyone everyone, everyone in this audience will meet click tonight just so you know <laughs> that is that is that is the subservient person we turn Jenny into when we take pictures <laughs> because we would take we take pictures every right with every single person after every show and Jenny originally would take pictures but we had no idea when the pictures were taken mm-hmm. and no one has a shutter sound on their phones so we're like hey Jenny can you like make a sound every time you take a picture <laughs> so Jenny goes click click click, click, click. but at click. the beginning of tour it was like click Click, <laughs> click, and now it's click, <laughs> click, <laughs> click, <laughs> click. Oh no! Yeah, no, do but it like that. <laughs> but in like Chicago, it was two hundred people at like clicks. four clicks a person, mm-hmm. and, and so you're doing like eight hundred clicks minimum. Just click, 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 mm-hmm. click, click, click. But not click. that fast. I had clicked once, and Elton was like, "You're clicking too fast." Click yeah, because you were like, like click, Jenny click, does click, it. And like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, like we're gonna knock someone out trying to take pictures. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've had to say click. You probably said click. Let's say over fifteen thousand times <laughs> in the last thirty yeah. days. What are your dreams like? <laughs> click, <laughs> click. <laughs> it's nightmares. <laughs> the word click. <laughs> Yo, I feel like if you go like when tour is over and you go out and some random nice couples can be like, can you take a picture of me? You're like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> you, no. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to be in the club having fun with your friends. All of a sudden the songs that come on with Big Sean, where it's like, ain't nobody messing with my click, <laughs> click. And Jenny's just going to start freaking out. <laughs> no, not again. She's like, give no. me the phone. Give me no. the phone. Where's your phone? Where's your phone? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, good times. Yep. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, you've helped set up ghost tools and, and helped charge everything and, and the snacks. And you even went on a ghost mm-hmm. hunt with us at Eloise. Mm-hmm. And that was, that was fun. And yeah. She's essential with RV life too. Helps clean, helps cook, all that stuff. Very nice. All right. Well, since Riley doesn't want to come up, I think we'll um, ask Team Ethnic to exit. <laughs> oh my, okay, white man. We'll leave. <laughs> all right. Can we give a round of applause for Ginger and Jenny? Um, help making this tour possible. All right. Marty, Kyle. You ready? Get you up here. You got your shit locked off? Come up here, kids. Come on. Kyle, right here. And then and then Marty is right there as well. Um, Kyle uh, joined the overnight filming team uh, February. Yeah. This was your second shoot ever. It was here, right? Yep. What? Yep. This was the second time like ever filming with you guys. And the only time... I think that was probably the only time you actually scared the absolute shit. Oh, incorrect. Very incorrect. No, that, no. that's the only one you, I really remember. USS Salem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you was at Salem, dude. You yeah. jumped like four feet in the air when I That's scared so you. Yeah. It's, it's always the battleships, you know. Yeah. So if you, <laughs> if you watch this video and you at one point I think Evan hits uh, the the ceiling with a flashlight and then Kyle goes ah! and screams. <laughs> but but he was getting B roll. Like he was just up by himself, just getting like nice shots of the ship. And you're listening to Tupac. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what was the what was the lyric that you sang right before oh, you screamed man. like a little girl? Like like back the f- up before you get smacked the f- up. <laughs> so like, and I was literally so it's like so like when we <laughs> we'll, <laughs> I don't think Marty knew that. <laughs> so so pretty much like like we'll be filming and then Elton's like film B-roll for an hour by yourself. So you go off by yourself in these haunted places and like I'm the type of dude like I don't even watch horror movies so like I don't even thank you Marty. <laughs> I don't even like scary places to begin with. So you're off shooting by yourself and you just like play music uh, try to kind of zone it out and uh yeah tupac was the choice that night you know i was trying to be all tough and uh that switched really fast 
<laughs> I just and you like you literally won't even go to horror nights with us. No. <laughs> like, I mean, I I can't, but I still probably wouldn't. Honestly, it's, yeah. it's scary. I just, <laughs> and I love that this is what you do now with us. Your whole month on tour. I mean, me and Jonah are the same way. Yeah, we, we always talk about it. We're just like, dude. Like, I, I'll literally like be filming by myself. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm scared. He's like, dude, I feel you. Like, like, <laughs> like we're texting each other. <laughs> but I think that's what makes you and Jonah and and Marty and Evan like so great at this. Is like you have a genuine fear or respect of the space. You know what I mean? Like there is like, we see it every time where you're like, kind of like, mm. and I always see Marty look at me during investigations. Cause Marty, you were with me during the S's method and the EVP. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like, I'm like, whenever these kind of like big moments happen, I'm like, what the f Yeah. Okay. And then, and then for context, Marty is, is from Estonia and we met through a mutual friend of ours. Uh, Jake Kinga, mm -hmm. and basically I was looking for an editor and Jake was like, hey, Marty is this great dude and I, I watched your, your engagement video. I watched your engagement video uh, and I was like, this is remarkable editing. I was like, the, the, you just, I could tell instantly. I was like, you get it, you understand storytelling, you know music, like 100%. And then I brought you on to help edit some of the overnight stuff. And then, I don't know, the overnight editing process, it's ultimately on me, that's a side, a side note here. You know, we were, again, realizing I think we were three weeks away? From tour when I hit you up? Yeah, I think so. Something like that, yeah. So as you can tell, we planned this very well. Um, <laughs> so I think we were three weeks away from tour, and I went to Corey, and I was like, I think we need another camera guy. I don't mm -hmm. think we can shoot this with just Kyle on all three cameras all at once and doing audio and doing lighting. Yeah. So I hit you up, and I was like, hey, can you come live with us for five weeks in an RV? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> From Estonia, boy comes to America, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I think my absolute favorite thing about Marty is every night when we're done, we, we always finish around like 5 in the morning and then we're packing up gear by like 5.30. And as it gets later, he loses more and more English. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So by the end of the night, he literally can't speak to us anymore. Yeah. And then he just starts getting angry and going, I'm from Estonia. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts, like, doing weird shit. No, on, on top of that, we don't get that much sleep, right? So this like this is like a collective thing, like like when you invest compound interest with yeah. sleep, we don't get enough. Yeah. So the sleep depth goes bigger and bigger and bigger. I wake up like this, I'm whoa. <laughs> 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 I'm <in> Estonia. <laughs> but the last day it feels like that right now. Dude, no, it literally was two nights ago and I, you we were all four of us were outside the RV, but then you went inside the RV. Yeah. And then we stayed outside and kept talking and we're like 30, 40 minutes deep into a conversation. And then Marty was like, he's like, F I'm really tired. I can't speak English right now. And then you just called it a night. You were done. You're like, I can't process right now. And then you just went to bed. Like we were deep in a conversation. Have, have you ever talked in another language for 30 days straight? Oui, oui. <laughs> Emo <laughs> Okay. There was one night where uh, we just finished up filming, and Marty came up to me and just said a full sentence in Estonian, and this goes goes sorry, and then walks away, and it just walks away, and then and then like literally like ten minutes later, I'm like packing up some cameras, and he just goes. Just full gibberish in Estonian. I don't know what it means. And then it's just like, shit, dude, you just look just like me. Like, I thought you were Estonian. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we end 5 a.m. sometimes. Yeah, no, all the time. All the time, Almost yeah. All yeah. the time, yeah. Yeah, so that, we start at 2 p.m. I mean, with well, load in, and I would we say end I, 5 30 in the morning every day. It's, it, it gets hard, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I just. I just, I still, it still makes me laugh. The one text I sent where we, uh, for Ferrar, yeah, Ferrar in Iowa, and I texted Marty. He was literally thirty feet away from us, talking so <laughs> loud next to the motorhome where everyone's. There's a whole school. We have fifty acres, and he's five feet away from the motorhome, trying to get that good lighting from the street light, mm -hmm. just speaking as loud as he can. And I'm like yelling, Marty, Marty. And he like can't hear me. That's how loud he's talking. And I yeah. text him and I'm like, can you please stop speaking f minion next to where everyone's sleeping? Because I don't know. 
<laughs> I, I've asked him to do this every time he speaks of stone in, if he were just throwing like a banana in there and dude I swear it's to me it sounds like how the wait can talk. you do it can you say a sentence in Estonia and then end it with banana or throw uh, it in the middle somewhere that's what it's no you think it's f***ed up until you hear it and you're like that's pretty good <laughs> no nii väikselt pekine oot mis teete banana on teie sees väikselt minema sisse banana banana ja mama papa tõmbavad teile Koiti pääsest, et banana tõmbab sulle veel kord üha väikse banana nau et seal tõdasi, kui sa sööd banaani viisavalt hästi, siis sinu saab ise üks banaan. <laughs> what, did you, what did you just say? Yo, Lena, can you translate? <laughs> what did you just say? I don't even remember. It started out like you little, you little like uh, fat faces. You're about to say some uh, bananas now. Uh... If you eat enough bananas, you become a banana yourself. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yeah. I think one of the funniest compliments Marty gave us <laughs> was everyone around the world thinks Americans are really stupid. And when I met you guys, you're not that dumb. <laughs> 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 I remember you said that to us and we were like, thanks, dude. <laughs> But, but well, this is how the world views you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how, how how you're projected to us in yeah. Europe. Yeah. I just remember I was like, thanks. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> no, that was really sweet of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going back to more tour scrambling, um, we had no idea how to do this audio. We were gonna run like two different mic systems and like lavalier wireless and wa- li- wireless fat, and we're using our sound boxes, which were given to us by Soundbox, which are like primarily meant as like outdoor backyard travel kind of Bluetooth speakers. And we spent like two days trying to figure out how to do the sound, and we couldn't figure it out. And the day before Whaley House, which is the first night of tour, we were at Guitar Center talking to the dude, being like, "All right." So, we need your help. Uh, we're going to haunted abandoned locations and we need to do a podcast. How do we record audio? And the dude was like, what? <laughs> and then we, we figured it out. We did like tests in Whaley and all these different things and you've like had to literally figure out how to audio engineer the entire show. Oh yeah, yeah. L- I mean, luckily, you, we both have band experience so we have some experience both in it but uh, it, it has been in a way uphill battle because at one location I've, I understood that we have one like k- cable missing and if we don't have that, that then we don't have audio. Yeah. So I was like, I was like an hour into and the, everything has to be up. I was like, fuck. I feel like we're missing 30% of the stuff we started tour with. Oh, definitely. Like all of our doll, we've left dollies, we've left cables, we've lost screws and bolts and cables and broken chairs. And <laughs> <laughs> so much stuff has gone missing, but we like, we did it, dude. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I remember there was one night on tour, someone was holding their mic, like kind of like here. And I was like trying to be like, hey, hold it closer. And Marty just came on stage and did this and went. <laughs> <laughs> he just like jammed the mic into her face and was like, ah, I'm Estonian. <laughs> like, <laughs> I remember at, at like Shanley, uh, this one girl was doing the same thing. And I just see Marty like in the corners going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'm trying to let you know, like, hey, make it go. F- <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> you're, like, like <laughs> you're, like, hold the mic right. <laughs> the SLS figure in the rocking chair was just Marty <laughs> being like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man, it's been fun. We filmed a lot of ghost hunts together. Mm-hmm. As of tonight, we'll have filmed 23 Tonight will be our 23rd filmed ghost hunt. We had two nights where we did not film. Thank 23, God. Yeah, 23 <laughs> ghost hunts we filmed with some really, really cool stuff. Caught. Holy I think I think some of the best like evidence that you could show to like anyone in the paranormal community has been caught on this tour. Mm-hmm. I think like the best stuff we've ever caught, like literally like three hour long sequences mm-hmm. of like following evidence until getting to that one concrete piece has happened on this tour. Yeah. Yeah, it's been super cool just like uh, throughout the month, just like you keep saying, this is our best evidence. And then the next couple of days we get something else and it's like, oh, now this is our best evidence. And it just like fully progressed until uh, right before like investigations, you're just going through all this stuff that you caught and it's like yeah. so crazy. And I think you forget how much you guys have grown in this process as well, right? Like you started as well, like you started projecting yourself to be like, I want to help, I want to help. And in one instance, you actually could help 
during this tour and get like we don't know if you actually helped get get something away, but it felt felt like that way. Yeah. You were there together, right? Yeah, Corey's been saying a lot of prayers lately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> me too when Jerry's driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 ridiculous. Like the amount of like spirits that we have like prayed for on this tour to try to help cross over. Like literally, so many investigations that we've been doing on this tour, the spirits are begging for help. And, like we all feel bad, you know, because it's like, what can we do? Like you know, half the places that we go to, like it's in the paper. Like you're not allowed to help spirits leave because then their location won't be haunted anymore. And so it's like, we're just getting all this evidence and it's just, it's really sad. So that's why I just, I I do prayers. Like I pray for them. And a lot of the time after we pray, the activity stops. And so it's like, did we help them? Did we just help them get out of the loop? It's, it's been uh, interesting too, because I think I'm going to say three nights. I could be wrong. Maybe four out of the 25 nights. I think only three or four nights have we actually investigated together. Yeah. We'll start together, right? We'll we'll say hello to everyone. We'll kind of go over the tools. Open the veil. And then, and then we split up, right? Because we're doing groups between you know twelve to eighteen people. So we break into either three groups when we have like Corbin or Patty. We break into two groups, and so like we really haven't spent any time investigating together like this entire tour. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's always fun at the end of the night when he's like, "Yo, this happened and this happened," and I'm like, "Dude, you won't believe what happened to me. I got this EVP that says." <laughs> yeah. No, I know. That's why I was saying earlier, like, it's literally nuts. Like, my, the last investigation we did, that was the one where he was getting all the moans. And it's like, for me, I spent literally my last hour praying for this, like, little child spirit to move on. Like, the evidence that we got was literally, like, she was saying that there's, like, an evil entity there that's, like, holding her there, and she's terrified of it. And we kept asking, do you want us to pray? Do you want us to pray? And the device literally kept saying, pray, pray, pray. And after, you know, we prayed three times, I said, did this help? Do we need to pray again? And then the device literally says, pray for me. And we're just like, holy So then we prayed and then the activity stopped. And then I go to Elton and I'm like, dude, it was so sad. Like we were praying for a spirit again. And he's like, dude, there's ghosts having sex up there. (laughs) I'm like very different investigation, very different. I think I think my favorite part early into tour. I think this happened around mid Orange, which would have been the 20th, August 20th, where you guys would fight over who had to not film the Ouija board. Yeah, because <laughs> we'd have a group that wanted to do the Ouija board, and you guys would both be like, uh, like rock paper scissors for who had to go film it. Yeah, I mean, I think I never really mind using it too much until. Um, just at some point, you're doing it every night. It's like, well, like, should I keep filming a Ouija board every night, being a part of these sessions? So I kind of like started to opt out of it midway. And he's been like, just since mid orange, you've been kind of scared of it, right? I mean, you have been always telling about the, like all of the things that you do, but now that once I've done like two, I've understand if you can do it like the way you're supposed to do it and follow through with all the rules. But there's been a couple times where I'm seeing people just like they don't close it out properly sometimes and whatever. And then, then I'm like, all right, well, I'm just right next to you. You just didn't do it right. Mm-hmm. So that, that's kind of what that, <laughs> Was that know. with you? That had to have been with you. Because I've actually been really, really good at like watching them and making sure they close it out. It's mm. It just sometimes happens when there's just like so many people. Oh, and people are off. I was going to yeah. say, I was gonna say, hasn't there been times where people have split off and done the Ouija board by themselves? Yeah. And that's what happened to one of my groups. Yeah, oh, I've, I've not had, I yeah. literally have not had that happen. Yeah, no, had, that, that has a happened a couple times. Yeah. You let someone go off of the Ouija board by themselves? They said that you gave it to him, and I was like, I'm not doing it I with you. A <laughs> what the? No. Yeah, let it yeah. Straight. I didn't want to be in, in there. Buffalo, <laughs> in Buffalo, me and Corey were in this like chapel room trying to like figure something out that we we're getting all night, and Marty's just in another room, just Marty and these like two other people filming the Ouija board, like. And and there's been a couple times where I'm by myself with some other people doing the Ouija board. They're like, "Do you know how this works?" I'm like, "Not really." Like, <laughs> can, you, can you take your hat off for one second? Yeah. Look how cute you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Has anyone else just noticed this? <laughs> Thirty days together, and they Poland. now look alike. They dress alike. <laughs> you guys are like the our version of the Shining Twins. Just. <laughs> <laughs> the camera guy version. You put your hat back on. I just realized that you guys were like almost perfectly matching. We yeah, you guys controlled. fighting over the Ouija board was interesting for a minute. And I remember well, Tor, Tor made something really cool happen because we have more people, right? Like normally it's just the four of us. But I remember it was mid-orange and we had a group that wanted to use the Ouija board and we had a group that wanted to use the S's method. And I was like, 
let me just run both at the same time. And and we ran them both. Oh, that was that was the weirdest thing. That was my first time when next to a Ouija yeah. board. Yeah, and that's why I was so fed up about up, up about this. Yeah. Next, next next time I was like, no. Yeah. No, 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 uh, no. Dude, they Ouija board and SSM at the same time. And literally as like and I'm talking about like, I don't know, 10, 10 jail cells down. Like absolutely no chance of noise pollution. I'm in the middle. I can, you know what I mean? I can hear, so I'm kinda like relaying the messages. And I remember um, the Ouija board would hit yes as the person saying, doing the S's method would say yes. It was like simultaneous and like I had never seen anything like that. And that was like super cool to have all these extra people to be able to like film that and kind of like help mediate. And it's also been weird for me this whole tour because uh, you know, it's not our investigation. It's with other people. Mm -hmm. So I don't get to be like Elton, the, like the Elton that you see in videos. Like I don't yeah. get to be the guy that's like pushing bounds and mm -hmm. like saying kind of, instigative kind of things I have to be more respectful yeah so I've almost been like a chaperone like <laughs> but sometimes I've been like for for Corey to be like hey maybe you need to push like follow through that story because there have been like really weird stuff happening for Corey like like for going through like one place to another like finding that I call them the runescape quests for yeah. you yeah that, that start from one location and then in another location yeah like we the far school was that when we were like yeah that he was comes cool. running in like hey we need to go to the playground now yeah that's right <laughs> Like, like now, 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 oh, now. Oh, yeah, Grafton, Grafton School. Grafton School, Grafton, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, now. Grafton. And then, then, then have another story unfolds that is, like, really weird. You know, my favorite thing to watch was <laughs> every time in, in the early stages of the investigations, right, they, they both film, and we always start uh, with a giant circle. <laughs> so everyone's in a giant circle and watching these two dudes try and run around each other, like bumping elbows, film. trying to get the shot and yeah. film. And I just see Kyle being like, move Marty. <laughs> and Marty just like, the worst. and I remember Marty originally would stand in the middle of the circle. Yeah, I was like, well, it's so much easier to film inside the circle, <laughs> you, right? You try filming a it's, fucking it's, it's circle so, outside. So much, go inside, <laughs> film inside these people faces, not from afar. Okay. I'll never it, forget. It's easy. It, Logic. Wait, do you remember when we were opening the veil? And so we're all holding hands in a circle and we're like, my name is Corey and I'm hoping to experience this. And Marty is like trying to climb on top of a broken box <laughs> and it's just breaking more and more. <laughs> and you're like holding the camera up here. <laughs> Marty has this camera that's like over $10,000 and he's on this little box. It's like about to break. And Elton's like, hey, Marty, maybe you should get down. He's like, no, it's dirty. It's just like, <laughs> slowly cracking under him like I, I just remember the day that I was like hey Kyle do you guys want me to do like a horseshoe shape and Kyle was like yes please <laughs> please do a horseshoe we were so stoked you guys were so amped on that dude how many terabytes are we at are we at uh, 30 about, terabytes no like 22 terabytes 22 terabytes <laughs> yeah of footage which is I don't even know what that means in how hours. many iPhones that's well, 20, <laughs> 20, 22 terabytes not including the backups so if you include the backups it's like 44 terabytes yeah and what is it like 10 minutes is a gig so a thousand minutes is a terabyte so 22,000 minutes of footage. Good luck looking through that, Does that Marty. sound right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we have an astronomical amount of footage because we filmed 25 live shows and 23 investigations yeah. that we now have to go through. And Marty has to... We have to figure out when Marty's going to start editing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was, he was like, do you want to start the day we get back? And I was like, no, uh, I do not. <laughs> yeah. So in a couple of days, we're going to come up with a plan to start cutting up these live shows and hopefully have the first episode out in October, which is so funny because none of you knew what you were showing up for tonight. <laughs> we were just like, a live show at a haunted place. And you're all like, all right. <laughs> I mean, we'll go. <laughs> so... And, and sincerely, thanks for trusting us with your evenings and, and coming out tonight. And I hope this has been super fun. But uh, I'm really excited to share all these episodes. Yeah, seriously. We have a lot. We have a lot. Between Iowa and the pranks and Utah and the death threats. Yep. And, and the ghost stories. Good and times. And Marty's, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, one last story. One last story about Marty. We've already talked about this before, but it's so, so, so funny. We're at Mid-Orange Correctional. We're in New York City. We're investigating with this big, big, big dude. Turns out later that he was in by PD. And it's him and it's like five other people. And we're all on this like uh, back 
bunker, I don't know, infirmary kind of area. And everything's like getting intense because like the REM pods going off at the back of the hall. Our thermal imaging is showing like a zero degree entity at the end of the hall. And I've never seen my thermal ever register zero degrees other than literally in zero degree weather. Um, and we're seeing all this and everyone's like on, on edge. And then everyone hears- I mean, REM pods are going off. Yeah, the different REM pod at the end of the hall, yeah. matching up with thermal, like everything's going off. And then everyone hears, whoa. And everyone like, I don't know. It, it was in the middle of you were like showing the. Oh yeah, we were yeah, doing it, playback it, on the same recorder. Yeah, and we had had some weird stuff coming through already yeah. from there, and yeah. they were listening to that. They were listening to it, but then yeah. they all in their ear, not through the recorder, like out loud, heard whoa, <laughs> and everyone panicked. Like this big <laughs> NYPD dude was like, yo, <laughs> he was like, dude. And I look at Marty and Marty looks at me and we're both looking at each other like terrified. And I'm like, I didn't hear it. And he's looking at me like, I don't know what the f just happened. And we're just staring at each other. And I'm like, all right, like that's crazy. It had to be in the mic if they all heard it. And I think it was like two nights later. No, no, no it, it, was was same, night. it was the same morning. Same it, morning. Like, it was let, the same morning. It was 5.30 in the morning. We're almost done packing up. And Marty is tearing up, crying of laughter. Dude is just like watering his eyes, watering his eyes. And, and what did you, you said to me, you're like, I have a confession to make. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He was like that, whoa. He was like, I farted. <laughs> And that is why I was, why I was the, in this the disbelief, looking at you like, what the f do I do in this and moment? I, I have I, just farted. There are eight people around me that think that there's a f ghost. Somebody's like, whoa, everybody's, everybody's so freaked out. I'm like, do I let them, them have this experience? Or, 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 or do I come out like, hey, the easy rig just like pushed on me. and like, mm, it, it like, I was like, okay, let them have this experience for now. I'm like, <laughs> And I had to write an email to them and be like, hey, so that EVP you heard, bad gas. So sorry. Oh, oh my God. So, so, so funny. And I just love that when that video comes out, I'm going to leave that in. But then what we just talked about right now is going to go at the end of that video. <laughs> and I'm just going to put text on screen to be like, if you want to know what the woe was, watch to the end of the video. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that is man. so funny. That it's, is so funny. It's been fun, dude. So many locations. So, so many locations. It's 23, 23 locations, 25 nights of investigations. Yep. Waverly Hills times two, Penhurst times two in like 31 days. It's been so wild. And you guys have been sleeping in my bunk beds that I built. And you're alive. So. Yeah, I, felt, I, fe I almost fell out of it because of Jerry's driving, but... <laughs> Yo, yeah. I like that the only safety feature, he's top bunk, and the only safety feature I gave him were basically medieval spikes of wood <laughs> that serves as like, have you ever seen like those fences that have those like sharp pointy edges so you don't climb over it? That's basically what he has on his bed to stop him from rolling out. <laughs> So pretty much like right, <laughs> I, I sleep under Marty and okay. right above me, there's a uh, like two by fours. It's like kind of like spaced out and I purposely sleep to where I'm in between them so that if it ever breaks, it doesn't just absolutely crush my face in. <laughs> <laughs> and there's been a couple times where I'm like, Jerry will just, I don't know, being, being Jerry driving. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you been woken up by Marty with, whoa. <laughs> 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 a couple, a couple, a couple, a couple, a couple woos. Yeah, it's time well, to go. It is time to go. Well, thank you guys. Thank man. you guys for having us. A round of applause for Marty and Kyle. Uh, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Making this possible, man. We got to go to the Q and A. Yeah. yeah. I'll take. Yeah, you want to? This is a sketchy seat. You want to take that one? Yeah. All right. Um, since it's the end of the tour, you guys kind of get a different show than what we've been doing all the rest. But normally, in the time in which we brought everyone on stage, is when we um, read stories, paranormal stories that have been submitted by people in the audience. And the reason why we do that is so we can bring them on stage and talk to them afterwards and get to know more about the story, and then kind of help take away that taboo aspect of like why you shouldn't feel comfortable sharing your paranormal stories. We kind of want to help break down that wall, right? By having people come up here and share when they're uncomfortable, we hope that more people would be willing to share their stories. But for sake of time and the fact that we're doing an investigation tonight and we've already been on stage for two hours and eight minutes, um, we're going to have to skip that part of the show this evening. 
All right, so yeah, uh, we're going to go into the, the Q&A section. These are all questions that y'all have submitted. And uh, yeah, sincerely, like all the, all the other shows, like we do have people submit stories and, and we read them and we share with them and we talk with them. And it's been really, really fun to get to know people. And some of the stories that we've read and heard have been... Yeah, we've had some insane stories. Insane stories. So again, that's why we're so excited to like share this podcast. Like the people that have been willing to open up to us, um, not only like having the courage to, to write it in, but then actually also come on stage and we've seen people like nearly have panic attacks mm-hmm. sitting right where I am just like looking at the crowd and going I, I, I can't talk about this like not yeah. that they can't but they're just so terrible like, they physically felt like they couldn't talk about it yeah. and we've been able to kind of like you know help them we, we crack jokes to kind of like lighten the mood but it's been a really really cool experience and uh, it has excited to share it um, so yeah we'll do the Q&A and then afterwards we'll take pictures with everyone uh, you'll hear Jenny go click 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 uh, 101 times uh, we'll sign whatever if you have it doesn't have to be merch we'll sign phone cases it doesn't matter to us how do you feel about carrying the Haunted Museum on tour with you <laughs> hmm. so obviously you know it scares me a little bit and obviously we have had like some bad luck but there was one investigation that we had and literally like the evidence that we were getting we were at a school, it was a school, and, like, the evidence we were getting was saying, like, why did you bring that here? Like, leave, leave Ferrar. now. Yeah, Ferrar, Ferrar, Iowa, yep. Yeah, and li- that's what we kept getting, like, with Essie's method, with the ovulus, with everything. It just kept saying, why did you bring this here? Why did you bring this here? Leave, leave now. And so that's been making me think, like, is that why we've been getting some of the best evidence that we've ever got on this tour? Is it because of the haunted museum? Is it because of the items that we're bringing with us is spiking activity everywhere else? Because they're like, there's 20 demons right over there. You know what I mean? And at the same time, this is something like we thought about beforehand. We make sure that we take the museum out of every location before the investigation before investigating. starts. Yeah. So like the investigation starts probably around like 1130 and the museum is normally completely packed out in the, in the motor home or trailer by like 11. So that's something we also like kind of made sure yeah. that wouldn't, we wouldn't have that cross pollution there. Um, but it is in the building at some point. So is it kind of like aggravating or irritating or mm-hmm. spiking up or I don't know, infusing energy into the spirits by being in the same building? I don't know. Yeah. Um, our Stanley hotel video might be a prime example of that. Cause we yeah. couldn't figure that one out. It's also interesting that like having the museum and the trailer and like the trailer and the truck has like had the most tires popped and, and taillights go out for no reason. And then a bunch of weird, weird shit that's happened. A lot of bad luck. Or again, it's part of the fact that I hired three people on 14 days notice for a five week tour. And you know what I mean? I bought that trailer, I think three <laughs> days before we left and I didn't check the taillights before I bought it. And you know, it could be a lot of things like that. And two of the tires were bald and I was too stupid to realize it. So it could be that too. Or it's a Dybbuk box. I don't know if I have an answer to this, but it's the worst nightmare you've ever had. I don't know if I've ever, I honestly don't even remember dreaming like Mm. in a very long time. That sounds so sad. Um, (laughs) I don't remember any of my dreams or nightmares. You know what? You know what's weird? I'm always curious about this. When I was a kid, I used to have, uh, I would call it nightmares of shapes. I would just perpetually see like shapes. Like almost like Tetris in 3D, just constantly forming, and I couldn't stop seeing it. Every time I go to sleep, I would see it, and I would wake up, and it would just irritate me. Mm-hmm. And I just constantly just kept seeing shapes. And those are the only nightmares I've ever remember having in my entire life. Was I just couldn't stop seeing shapes, just constantly not being able to be put in the right place. That's very strange because what? that's how I've recently put together how to explain my sleep paralysis growing up. Hmm? It's been with shapes and numbers. What? Yeah. Yeah, I've realized that. Like, I had sleep paralysis a couple months ago when I was with my family. When I woke up and I was trying to explain, like, why I was freaking out during sleep paralysis was because it was just all these numbers just kept popping up, and I couldn't add them. I couldn't mm. add them up. It was it was like an impossible, like, equation. Like, it was like, yeah. you can't solve it. Yeah, super similar to mine. Mine was just, like, all these, like, polygons that were just, like, running around, and I was just in my brain. That's the only nightmare I ever and remember having. And it can't having. fit. Yep. Yeah. And my only nightmare I ever remember having my entire life. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. Because I finally just realized, like, how to explain it. That's what is kind of my sleep paralysis in a way. It says, uh, if you were a ghost, who would you haunt and how? Dr. Phil. <laughs> Are you ghost Dr. Phil, or is that who you're haunting? No, I'm haunting Dr. Phil. And, and how would you haunt Dr. Phil? I don't know. Just when he's, like, doing his show, when he's interviewing people. And you're just like, catch me outside. I <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just whisper it in his ear and he's like, no, not again. Not again. <laughs> what okay. about you? What about you? Uh, who would I, you haunt? Who would I haunt? Yeah. You know who I'd haunt? Hmm. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. I love Brad Pitt. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't even ever let him know I'm around. I would just want to watch him shower. <laughs> and next question. <laughs> What are they going to do? Arrest me? I'm a ghost. <laughs> um, if you had to live at any of your tour locations, where would you pick? All right. Where was the least haunted? Honestly, I might pick here. Yeah. Just living up top there with that view all the time. Yeah. And there's actually power and water and showers here. Yeah. I think I might, I think I might pick here. None of our locations really had like a campsite or like, no, a, like a, yeah, no, none of them. Damn. But living on a ship? What? It is, it's not at sea anymore. I mean, but can you leave? Like, can you get off? That's where you oh, you can't live. leave your house? Well, I don't know. I, was just, I didn't know if it was part of the thing. Like, you can never leave or something. No, it just says if you have to live in any of your tour locations, where would you pick? It doesn't say. Okay, yeah, I'd live here. Just because my car and everything's in California as well. All right, well, I, I guess we don't need to pack up tonight. <laughs> I'd just stay here. Final question of not only the evening. Final question of the tour. How would you describe each other in three words? Damn you, fine. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would say brave, adventurous, cute. Oh, wait. Is the letter U a word? Because I said, damn you, fine. Yeah. It is? Yeah. If it's not, I would be like, damn you, fine, bitch. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I like that. Oh my god. End of the tour, dude. Yep. All right. Let's go take some pictures. Is it time? It's time. Are we sure? Should we just go for like another hour? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're fucking <laughs> cold and tired. <laughs> I've watched that child put on every jacket in the audience. <laughs> Everyone's like, one more game. Please, one more game. I swear she started with one hoodie. Now she has all of your hoodies. <laughs> Everyone left and bought hoodies. <laughs> that's how we sell more merch. Ooh, that's a, that's a genius marketing technique. All right, cool. Marty, you want to come up here? We'll do the last picture of the tour. And then, uh, yeah, we'll grab water super quick. We'll take pictures of everyone. 